Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Amori. Last time we were in Sweetheart's Castle, and now we're gonna go off to the boss room. I think we have one more quadrant to go through, and then we should be completely ready to phase the potential boss. I don't know what it is at this point, but it should be pretty spectacular, given how grand, grandiose even, this place is. Oh, here's a nice little- there's actually a whole lot more I didn't explore. Ah, yes, Sweetheart's Specialty and Crumpets. Would you like to have some? Sure. That's not a good sign, <laughs> if, we, if we get heals this early. Unifriends friends feel like new. Cool beans. Oh, we can also have some tea. Popcorn girl. Hey, you want some popcorn? It's 80 clams. Actually, popcorn is gonna be really nice. We'll buy like three or four of those. Those give uh, healing for everyone, and it's something like 30% of their health. So that is gonna be nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll grab as much popcorn as we can get right now. Honestly, 80 clams is super cheap. Okay, we'll buy one more, and that should be good enough. Okay, what's here? You want to watch a movie with your friends? Sure. Top on and watch something nice. Probably something to do with... Oh, I just realized, um... The Big Cheese herself is here. Oh, no. Oh, that was a nice movie. <laughs> Remind me more of like a commercial than anything. Do we talk to Sweetheart right now? Oh. Uh, I guess we can go say hi. Hey! Oh, an uncomfortably realistic Sweetheart doll. I bring Sweetheart with me wherever I go. Say hello, Sweetheart. Okay. That is uncomfortably realistic. I thought it was her herself. But obviously, it really isn't. Okay, what's up here? Ah, this is where the line is. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the last event is going to be as well. Well, it's been a while since I've seen you four. Up to no good, I assume. Have you learned your lesson after venturing out of the tunnels? Next time, you won't be so lucky. Who are you again? I don't think I've ever talked to her. Well, I guess it was nice talking to her now. How dare they make me wait? I'm an esteemed guest. So we're not, we're not able to get past here right now. Does everyone say that? Yeah, okay, everyone is saying that. We'll see if we can find a way around. Ah, we actually got a magic ball here as well, another pearl. I don't know what we exactly do with those, but maybe we'll be able to sell them later? Ah, uh, that's a hope anyways. Okay, we actually have this other spot to go as well. Is it the same? Oh, okay, it's just two different, two different entrances to the same area. Okay, that makes sense. I guess we'll just snoop around until we come across something else. Oh, I think I might have found a secret room. Uh, I just went into one of the, uh, curtain areas, and now the staircase is leading down. This goes deeper than the dungeon. Hello? Okay, maybe I should switch over to Amori for this one. He might be able to see a key that we can't. Okay. Hey, dude. You are brave to speak to me, young ones. Tell me, are you enjoying Sweetheart's Castle? That girl. She was an elaborate one. This dwelling takes the shape of one's deepest desires, a place to return to, somewhere to call home. Sweetheart came to me a long time ago, a poor girl from the desert, and begged me on her knees to make this place hers. I gave her what she desired, a castle full of riches, servants for her to command, a stage for her to flaunt her power. Yet she still wants more. It must be a curse. Soon she will leave and not return. I know this. And when I have deemed that she has found her new home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At that time, return to me. You, with the empty eyes. That's me! That's me! I'm the one with the dead empty eyes! That are, that's like a dead fish. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. Oh, wait. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. Oh, that's a little bit eerie. <laughs> okay. See you later, dude. It was nice talking to you. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe this has something to do with, like, I'm guessing there's, like, an ending for staying in the dream world and then, you know, staying in the real world. Presumably. For all we know, this could be the real world. But, uh, I'm guessing we could get that cool castle if we decide to go ahead with that. So, I guess that's nice and all. <laughs> oh, we haven't investigated this. Hold up. Is that a, plink a pink flamingo? Thou shalt not pass! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grah! The Royal Gallery, Gra Gra. This month's feature is Gra Gra Gra. Wolves of Sweethearts. Very nice, very nice. Okay. 
Now this might be where it hits a fan. It seems like we got a nice little dance floor as well. Can't talk to them, they're protected by railings. Hey there! What a fantastic show! This visit was well worth the trip from Orange Oasis. Hey, I've been there before. Welcome to the Lemoy Royal Gallery. This month's feature is Oaves of Sweethearts. Probably butchered that. There's a crown right there. Soy sauce. Galleries are all about showing off cool stuff. They should be showing me off. I'm cool stuff too. Look at his little feet. Hey there. Basket case. On the way here, I accidentally stepped on a sprout mole's foot. So she called me miserable peon and slapped me silly. I must have hurt her foot really bad. Wow, I am beyond moved by this work. The unabashed display of the artist's immense ego is truly really breathtaking. Hey. Princess Ghost looks around aimlessly as if lost. Oh, okay, it's a ghost. These paintings, they have awakened something in me. Hope it's not permanent. Like a eldritch one? Hey, letter K. Let's take it. K for kill. Very ominous. Very nice, though. Oh, there's a hole here. Seven keys left. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh my gosh, I just realized I I pulled I pulled another dumb again. I can just slip by here. I really need to be more aware of my surroundings. <laughs> oh, I have a question for you. Do you think ghosts would be considered a gas? Yeah, they'd be gaseous, wouldn't they? And what is this? Good, bad. So good is pink, bad is every other color known to man. Got it. Oh my, there's no time to admit entry to all these unruly guests. It just goes to show that we mustn't ever underestimate the popularity of our dear sweetheart. You there, servants with the ugly faces. Wow. The upcoming main event has strict dress code. It is of utmost importance that our audience is dressed to sweetheart's exact specifications. Here's a simple chart that even a non-sprout mole should understand. Good, pink, bad, everything else. Got it. Kindly ask the lesser guests to follow you and bring them to me. You can do something- you can do something that simple, can't you? Yeah, sure. Alrighty, time to round up the trash! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on with me, boys. <laughs> Greetings, esteemed guests. Please follow me, as your presence is urgently required. Oh my, of course. You look like a clean, upstanding gentleman. Okay, so we just gotta get all the- the non-pinks. There we go. There we go, now we have everyone. Splendid, I knew you had it, didn't you? Now we can finally get rid of these unpinkish guests. Descend into the dungeon. Guards! Escort these sprout moles to the dungeon! Yep. Dungeon time for you guys. Sorry about that. Ten years in the dungeon! <laughs> and that takes care of that. Those unpinkish guests will never see the light of day again. Man, these guys have a really strict code. Okay. So it seems like everything's cleared up now, so we're gonna be able to grab all these cool books. Cool beans. You got a book. We can give these books to that one guy who wanted them. Demi, I think his name was. So these are very nice. An interesting book. It's interesting. Ah, I know who to give that to, actually. Yes, yes, yes. We give that to the interesting guy who was interesting in books. Okay. That should be the last one. We should be able to leave now, and it should be a-okay. Oh, we got another one. Hello there, good sir. Would you like to die by yours truly? Sir Maximus III. Stop it, busters. I know who you are, and you are not a sprout mole. Hmm. You must be wondering how I'm able to tell. You see, I'm the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus II, and grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and grandfather, but that only has fueled my rage and thirst for revenge. With my impressive lineage and my father and grandfather by my side, I'll be victorious and avenge my family. Uh, we'll see about that, buddy. Okay, this is gonna be the most difficult, I'd say, mini-boss battle of them all, but we should be able to get this by in no time. No, I cannot let my father and his father's deaths be in vain. Oh, you're gonna have that. You're gonna have it. Father, grandfather, I'm sorry. I have failed you. Yeah, dang right, buddy. Heroes Party is victorious, 1,800 XP, Tofu. And Hero go to level 15, so did Audrey, so did Kel. Cool beans. See you later, dude. Okay. We got really beat up after that one. I'm gonna go reconvene and head back to the save point. Hey, is it just me? Does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Yeah, wasn't this supposed to be a crowd of spout moles at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anywhere. They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's go follow them, Amori. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Yeah, before that, let's go save because I don't trust anything right now, especially with how beat up we are. Those, uh, Sir Maximus guys... They actually have a special attack that they do before they die, 
and it does like 50 damage across the board, so it hits us hard. Alrighty, here we go. Is this finally going to be the outside world? Hey, this looks nice. Man, there's a lot to do in this castle, actually. Everyone's running down. Where are the... Where's the team at? <laughs> I love how they're all pink. Seems like our actions really did have consequences. All the greens, blues, and yellows are all gone. Into the dungeon! Ten years! Woohoo! We're finally out of Sweetheart's Castle! I wonder what's up with that big event everyone's preparing for. Strange. I don't see the sprout moles from the entrance anywhere. Where could, they, where could they have all gone? There must be some hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Okay. I see a lot of stuff that looks suspicious right now. Probably these hearts. Oh no, these are mazes, aren't they? Well, we should be able to cinch these out in a couple of seconds. Oh, there's nothing to actually to do up here. Well, we'll just head through the mazes, grab some... Oh. Youch! That hurt! Is everyone okay? What happened? Ah, uh, that sweetheart topiary just fired a laser at us. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get rid of these guys. I'm guessing we can throw, like, something at them. I don't know how to do that just yet. Maybe we'll head over the other way now. A suspicious looking mushroom. Would you like to take a bite? Sure! What's wrong with taking bites out of random shrooms you find on the floor? We're gonna go on a trip. <laughs> Hey, this ain't bad. Oh, I remember you. You were trying to struggle inside, weren't you? That one guy, at least. You! Oh, Miss One! Your eyes! They tell me that you yearn to learn! Excellent! Excellent, excellent, excellent! I will teach you! Come! Okay. Bulbous eyes. I think that is... Uh, actually, everyone has more round eyes than me. But we'll try me. You have come. Excellent! Now observe! The hard bulbs like this one behind me hold creatures like me. However, we are unable to escape by our own means. With a very specific and intricate cutting technique, one is able to release us from our buddy fate. However, this technique takes years, even decades to master. If you agree to learn it, there's no telling how long this will take. Yet with time, I believe we'll do great things. Yes, I will become a disciple. I'm already trained for a long time. Are we ready? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. You have grown so much. I'm like this bulb behind me. Now cut it using your perfected technique so that it may live. Did we learn a skill or no? Hey, there you go, buddy. At last, I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this gift from me. A dandelion. Nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey, we can hop on his head too. That's pretty nice. Jam packets. Those, what do jam packets even do? I have so many dang items right now. <laughs> Oh, man. We actually have quite a few jam packets. Revives all friends that are toast. That is good. Oh, yeah, that's that's really good. That is going to come in clutch very soon. This looks like a job for Kel. Okay. Switch over to Kel, my boy. All right, sweetheart. Yeah, ask for this. Hiya! You're a rock? Dang, I missed. Oh, silly Kel. You're not going to knock anything out throwing like that. Why did you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? I can do that? Of course. Even you can aim, Kel. Alright, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, we actually have to aim here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, take that, you dummy. <laughs> okay, that is nice to actually know. So we're actually going to be able to take them out like that. Alrighty. Very simple, but very nice. We got one more to do. Oh, I completely whiffed that. Okay, one more circuit. Kabuya. They're all gone. There we go. Yeah, Kel definitely has one of the more useful perks, I'd say, right now. Hey. Nope, no one wants to listen to me in that birdhouse. A waffle? Oh, man, that's delicious. Definitely nutritious. Let's avoid that guy. Activate this. Oh, nice. That just gave us a shortcut. Okay, let's go head over to the next one now. Ayo, we got some lemonade, and I think that's it, so I guess we'll continue on down. That's a nice little sidetrack. We got some goodies out of it, so it's, you can't really complain that bad. Now, look at this. Can we have some tea? Do you want to have tea with your friends? Sure. Oh, there's only two seats. <laughs> oh, Kellen and me are just sitting on the bench. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see how it is. Ah! Impressive statue of Sweetheart. Cast a discomforting shadow over the garden. Uh... What's that? What's that? What's that moving? Hey, uh... What's the password? Uh, never mind. I don't want to die. You said never mind. WRONG! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Am I fine? Oh, that only did like a little bit of damage. Eh, eat that. I got some, uh, I got some like jam that I could use. I could eat all this tofu, but I think all we'll need is a chicken wing. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to figure out a password then. Okay. Oh, trap door. What's in here? Ah, smart, smart, smart. Okay, well, we'll go save up, say hi to Mari, and continue on our merry way. Yeah, Kel is especially useful in these mazes. I don't know if they actually give anything of use other than consumables, but I sure hope they could give something, because we are going through these. Like, madmen. Hey there, Flamingo. Oh, these ones don't talk. They're boring. I want the cool Flamingos, man. <laughs> I miss them Flamingos a lot. Yeah, it seems like there's just knights over here that we might be able to fight. Is that a horse? Yeah, that horse is zooming. I kind of want to talk to him real quick. Cheese wheel. Nice. I gotta see what half of these things do pretty soon. Alright, we might have to fight someone here. Uh, we'll head around. I don't- I'm not one to fight right now. I think we're high enough level to take on the boss whenever that decides to come around, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, how do we get past here? Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. We'll just- oh, hold on. There's something here. Hey, trap door! You always gotta interact with everything or else you might miss something. Trap creatures want to be free. Yeah, well, the reason. Are you. Um, actually. No. No, 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 no. I know what this is. I, I've seen. Those bears would destroy me. They would kill me so fast. Yeah, no. Listen, I know I hate these sprout guys, but, um, I don't want to commit a genocide on them by unleashing those death bears that would absolutely rip every single one of them to smithereens. So, I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> for, for the betterment of the colony. All right. We might be killing them left and right, stabbing them with steak knives, but that doesn't mean I don't have a heart, okay? There we go. That should be all of the spiky doodles. Now we can go grab this final piece. A tomato! A single tomato, and it seems like we're gonna be trapped in, judging from those vines down there. That's a little bit of a problem. We'll let the wizard dude pass. Uh, could you let me pass? We're gonna have to fight them, Mark. Oh, oh, they're following me! Okay. Oh, this horse actually wants to fight. Kel and friends do. Uh, you no, know, we'll just run. I don't really want to fight a horse, dude. Sorry, man. Okay, what's going on down here? Ooh, cutscene. What's going on? We keep cutting down these vines, but they keep growing back. Chop, chop, chop. Ah, I know who we need. We need me. I've honed this skill. Hey. Hey, man. What are you doing? Okay. Well, I guess the only thing to do is uh, unleash the bears. Do you want to release the creatures? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to die in here. Oh, we killed the first one. 650 XP, 50 clams, level 16. Oh, my gosh. We are dead. We are actually dead. We are so dead. Oh, man. <laughs> we really screwed up on this one, man. We'll have to fight the room. Limb by limb. Ah, uh, it never ends. I've been in so many battles so far. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while, team. Okay, boys. I killed most of the ones at the start. There's only four more. We can go. No! Ah, I'm not ready for this. We can run. We can run. We can run. Hurry up. Let's grab all of the stuff right now. We got a jack. Oh, combo meal. Okay, what's the, what's the plan here? There is no plan. We got surrounded again. God dang it! Ah, this is hell! This is actual hell! Fuck these guys, man! 
We can skedaddle! No, please, 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 please. This is this is actually so bad. Oh man, we can't do anything. We have to kill one more. We have to kill one more. Oh man, everyone is beat to smithereens right now. This is not good, boys. We are going through a lot of items. But, uh, we have to do this. I've almost been here for like 30 minutes just trying to get through this, man. Oh, thank gosh we had popcorn. We'll, we'll drink- we'll use all the popcorn. And we will also use some... Uh, mango smoothie. Yeah, we're gonna use a mango smoothie. We're gonna need to, uh, definitely prepare for the next run, though. Okay. Just have to take out one more, and we will be free. Hopefully it isn't the one in the corner, or else we're gonna be stuck here for a little bit longer. Yes, we did it. Oh, get me out of here now. Please. I'm done here. Oh my gosh, it's the one in the corner. Of course it's the one in the corner. Oh no. I'm never gonna leave. I'm never gonna leave. Okay, this should be the final one. Please tell me we can leave. We're gonna have to activate another battle, but what we can do is just run. We just gotta run. Yes. We did it. Give me these. Give me these. I deserve every single one of these. Combo meal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Foxtailed. Mine. All mine. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. There's only one of you left now. I did it. I beat the game. I beat the system. That's all that matters. Jam packets. What is this foxtail? Was it worth it? That's the real question. Increases speed with more energy. Ooh. This is actually really good for uh, Kel here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since what he's able to do with this... As if it does increase it. Oh yeah, it increases it by a little bit. He's able to use his running gun a lot better. Okay, cool beans. What is the cat ears one? Defense speed. That might be pretty nice as well. Okay, we'll go organize everyone's inventory real quick. Oh, I am so happy to have left this area. Okay. Oh man, I am not feeling too good right now. Maybe we need to kill the knights in every hedge? That might be an option. But wow, I am just... I'm still trying to recover here. Woo! Man, that was one heck of a battle. Let's see if we can get back uh, to the uh, underground area now. Alex esteemed. Oh, we actually do have to talk to these guys. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of the third of four. Huh? You want to know the password? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Huh? You really need it? Like you really, really need it? Like you really, really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I have no choice then. But you have to promise not to tell anyone else? Pinky swear on it? Yes. This is the third one. Okay. And done. Phew. I was worrying someone might be untrustworthy. Now, lean in closer. Yes. Filled. Filled. Got it. Filled. So that's number three is filled. There are four passwords? Yeah. Second of four. Okay, so this is the second one. Yes, 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 yes. Not so fast there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. Now, how do I know if you're not really one of these highly intelligent and majestic creatures? You think I'd ever spill the password to a potential spy? Ha! Huh, don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mole, then why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password. If you can guess what I am thinking about right now. Uh, sweetheart. Oh. Hmm. I was thinking about tofu, but... You know what? You're right. I should absolutely be thinking about Sweetheart. Perhaps you're even more of a Sprout Mole than me. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me with it. I guess there are all kinds of Sprout Moles out there. Now, lean in closer. Yes. Yeah. Jelly. Okay. So, Jelly Filled. Jelly Filled. Okay. I got this. There are four passwords that must be spoken to the Sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility for guarding the fourth of four. But, ugh. I'm supposed to hold on to this super secret password and everything, right? But it's all about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry, I started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food around here. And like, what kind of password is Donut anyways? As in, like, that stupid pet name that weird blue guy always gets called Sweetheart or something. Please! This, that's no secret at all. Anyone can guess that. They're always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that, back and forth. Same things like, why won't you ask you to marry me yet? And I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship all the time. Ugh, so annoying. But whatever, I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. Hmm, that's right. Pity me if you want, see if I care. I am trapped in this lonely little corner in the garden, guarding the word donut, of all things. Jeez Louise. I like that sprout. <laughs> He's keeping it real, alright? And I respect that a lot. 
There are four passwords that must be spoken to the Sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I've been given the responsibility of guarding the first of four. Remember, jelly-filled donut. It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah, uh, you're saying you'd like to know the password? I apologize. I'm afraid that's not my jurisdiction. Though, I suppose something tasty, off-white, and cubish may change my mind. Give... Yeah, I'll give him a tofu. <laughs> Here you go, little dude. Now, uh, spill the beans. Oh, hmm, delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, lean in closer. Password that I've been trusted is sweet. Got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Yeah. Cool, that's all we need. We're gonna go save up, and I might go... I might go buy some stuff before we head out as well, because we did go through a lot of consumables because of the, you know, the cheese that happened before, okay? Okie dokie, I think we are all good. Let's go ahead into the tunnel now. An impressive statue. Yep, 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 yep. What's the password? We got this this time. Sweet jelly filled donut. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the password? Sweet. Hit me. Jelly. Filled. Donut. I would have laughed if I got that in my first try, though. Sweet jelly filled donut. Yes. Huh. Fine. Fine. There we go. We gotta have a little bit more pizzazz in it. Yay! We did it, guys. Let's go. Let's head down. Ooh, presents. Is that a love letter? Dear sweetheart, I love you so much. <laughs> really like how love is spelt. Let's have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. I would like that very much. Thank you. At least he's, uh, can I open these? No, I can't. Hello? Hey! Got some choice goods for sale. Okay. Well, I mean, I bought some stuff already, but I will take some more. Mine as well. Especially these, uh, tasty sodas. Get, like, a couple more of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a couple poetry books as well. Those are really good for a Mori. And we'll get one more soda. Okay. We're looking good. Oh, it's one of those stupid things. Ah, yes, pickles. Would you like to eat some? Sure. Where's, uh, Mari at? We need saves. Or don't tell me we're not going to get a save. Oh, no. Here it is. Yes, I would like to save. This is it, boys. This is where boys become men. Lovely sweetheart, you are my love. Please visit my home. I am ready for you. Oh no. Hello? Who's up there? Uh, <laughs> oh, we're back here! I remember this place. It's been a while, but we are finally back. Man, there are lots of trap doors here. Oh, we're going right in? We finally made our way out! Yeah! Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone's about to get married. Uh-oh, the show is about to start. Let's hide. <laughs> oh yeah, we're wearing green. That's not good. That's not good at all. She only wanted pink and pink only. I like how they left the four, first four seats for us, though. That's very nice of them. Welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It... It has been a splendiferous run. Thank you all for your viewership. For as long as we've been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved Sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, Sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time, we believe, we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. Oh, let's see it. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Ah, oh, just a bunch of, uh, brought more mic. Please, welcome to the aisle. Sweetheart's perfect suitor. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm awaiting this momentous occasion with bated breath. A cake? That's a big cake. We actually made that cake, didn't we? We made some type of cake. Oh, they're coming out of the cake. <laughs> Wait, weren't you supposed to get out on the stage? Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. 
The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart. <laughs> it's Sweetheart herself. Ah, yes. Silence! <clears throat> Let us begin the ceremony. <laughs> this is um both really funny and kind of sad at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the walk, the beautiful walk. I wonder what's going through everyone's minds right now. This must just be some whacked out. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself, that's so lame. Don't laugh, Kel. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Everyone's gonna object. In that case, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and sweetheart. You may now kiss the- I object! Stop this wedding immediately! Uh, is it boyfriend? Oh no! Ah, uh, Aubrey. You really done- Don't do this, sweetheart. This wedding's a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again! How dare you step back foot in here! Guards! Guards! Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you, I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's gonna send us to the dungeon again! Anything but the dungeon, please. Huh. You understand nothing, random hero fan. <laughs> random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm gonna love from now on is myself. Now, guards, seize her! Um, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero! <laughs> hero has come for me! <laughs> Oh, my sweet hero, I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgiven you. It's been like five seconds, ma'am. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero, here and now. <laughs> I love doing the voice cracky voice. Do so, and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. Oh, we die. What's this? You reject me? Again? What? How could this be? I... don't... understand. Oh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Now you've done it. Ah, yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion, but... It seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else! Yes! That must be it! My dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregarious personality! It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence! Well, there's no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering. Personally. Bring it on, sweetheart! The magical girl with the ladle. <laughs> Gonna kill us with- Farewell, miserable peons! Oh, that's a mace, that's not a heart. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. Okay, sweetheart. We'll see how, uh... Oh no, I still have Lucky Slice on. Ah, whatever, we'll be fine. Hit me with that sad poem, make me depressed. <laughs> that's the only way to win. It's pointless, you fools! You cannot dampen my positive energy! Sweetheart became happy. Sweetheart can no longer become sad or angry. That's good. That's really good, actually. What do you mean? That's perfect for us. Yes, make me sad. I thrive when I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, we'll hit him with a stab. We'll have Audrey actually 
We could hit a counter with this, which might be nice. So, uh, your boy can actually get some heart back. You dare raise your fists against me? Fools! You should be groveling at your knees! Gosh, dude, those stabs are so powerful. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be you won't be able to enjoy it much longer. Sweetheart became ecstatic. Oh no, everyone's angry, so that's a bit of a problem. But I think if everyone is uh, sad or happy, then we can't get any damage in. Yeah, we're gonna need a whole lot of cheese right now. We might give juice to all friends real quick, just so we can refresh that and continue our attack. Huh? I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. <laughs> she became manic. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. This is hurting kind of bad now, team. I can't release energy without everyone here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Oh, man. Okay, we missed that one. That was really good. We need to release energy right now. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might honestly go attack. Yeah, everyone just go attack. Um, Kel is definitely the fastest, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go hit this with, um, inflicts anger on all friends. No, 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 no. We have to have one that in just helps everyone, right? No, we don't. Oh, no, that's not good. That is not good. We'll just keep on using these fries, and everything will be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Release energy! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, please let this be it. Man, she is pretty difficult, but this is my first try, so I'm really happy if I could get this off. Please let this be it. Oh, man, she has a really good lineup. Nice. 480 damage. Yes! No. This is... Is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants. Okay, she- I thought she was about to go back, like, even harder, and we were not prepared for that. 5,800 XP, 1,300 clams, level 18, level 18. Mood Wrecker? Ooh, that must- that must- that must be nice. Kel grew to level 17, Hero grew to level 17. Alrighty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How could this be? You- You're all nothing! How dare you defy me! Throw them in the dungeon, guards! Guards? Oh, they're backing off now. It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is cancelled. No, I, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. Oh, no. Is that, uh, boyfriend? Base boyfriend? Yeah, it is. I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> my sweetheart! Oh, my sweetheart, I'm so relieved that I made it in time. You must stop this madness at once. C Captain Space Boy? You, you, you idiot! I told you never to show your face in front of me again! Oh, sweetheart, my sweetheart. My sweet jelly filled donut. <laughs> Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should have not kept you waiting all those days. You. What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. Oh. Uh Oh, smooth, man. Marry, marry me, sweetheart, right here on this very stage. Oh, my. This is all so sudden. How, 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 how romantic. That was easy. Sprout Mole Mike, I order you to marry us immediately. Yes, at once, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to... Oh, forget the formalities, Mike. True love cannot wait. Yes, my princess. Ahem. <clears throat> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and space husband. You may now kiss a bride. Ah, nice sensor. Very nice. <laughs> uh, are we going to get some censored hand-holding too? Oh, sweetheart, let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it is with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We have been apart for much too long. Come, my spaceship awaits. Of course, my dear. But first... There's one last thing I must do. Sprout Mole Mike, hand me the button. At once, my queen. 
Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Can you give me, like, some kind of reparation? You know, for absolutely dunking on you? We won't need this anymore. Oh my, she just exploded it? Okay, you know, that's just how it works sometimes. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen, our chariot awaits. Yeah, see you later, a bunch of crazy bozos. Bunch of, uh, ungrateful swine. Is this my castle now? Do I get to own everything? Do I get to command the, uh, turnips? <laughs> As if they were my own. Ooh, man. One heck of a journey. I don't know if I want the castle, though. I feel like if I take the castle, I might feel less inclined to leave. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's going to end well at all. Yeah. I guess this was a complete waste of time. Filler, baby. <laughs> oh, your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Nice. Ooh. Well, I guess we can go check out the big explosion here. Oh, can't investigate. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. We're done here. Sprout moles are all gone, and yep, it is time to leave. Oh, what is a fear of eyes called in like a murky darkness? Hey, Basil. Huh. What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? There's everything wrong here. Do I go into the pit? Oh, I'm looking the other way. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can move. Okay. Uh, let me save real quick, and then I will be right to you. Oh. Okay. No, it, it can let us leave. Okay. It's just a little bit weird because the ladder's right there. Okay. Let's go save. I don't trust that teddy bear as far as I can throw him, so I'm gonna leave him there. Save. Yes. We will save right here. Almost 12 hours in game so far, man. Ooh, mama. This is a long series. I like that a lot. Hopefully you guys like that last four-hour episode. I'll probably do another long one. Three to four hours. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. Well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I got places to be. Oh, we all jumped. Oh, that's a little bit morbid. I thought they would have waited for me up at the top. I'm falling a lot faster than them. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, a lot of... Egret orchids. It's a language of flowers. It symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Okay, this is not pleasant at all. What do we do here? Oh, we gotta slice through it. Okay. My friend, we just gotta head down south. Uh, there's a book up here, actually. Wow, this is really decrepit. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set... Blank's head accidentally falls onto Blank's shoulder. A sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He's happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Huh. It's a little bit ominous. I guess we'll head down the stairs. Oh, more spider webs. There's another excerpt. Let's see if we can head around here real quick. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank holding an open juice box. Okay, that's Kel. He looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. And what seems like less of a second, Blank disappears out the front door. Kel. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain leaving sloppy wet tracks all over the carpet. Lime's- I'm guessing that's Lime. His face turns red and yells for Blank, or that could be Mari, but Kel's already gone. 
Lime hands. Uh, Mari some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet's gonna stain. They'll have to deal with Kel later. Okay, so who was the guy on top? I'm curious about that. See, um, these two are a little bit weird. The bottom one is obviously Aubrey, but the top one is only one letter. And I don't know what that one letter would be. Actually, Hero might be the other forward. Man, I should've went for something longer than four characters. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I don't know who would the one blank be then. I guess we'll just have to piece that up together. Well, we'll probably- oh. Hey, Mari. Oh, it seems like Mari's here too. Let's read this one. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt? This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to his small window. Every day during class, Blank would gaze listily through the opening. At the shadows of the trees, the crowds, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere. Okay, so the one Blank is probably me then. His mind drifted elsewhere into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blank stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Blank looks away from the opening. Kel smiles, maybe? He motions that class is over and that it's our, all finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. My stomach growls. He looks at the small window, window one last time. He would have to continue his venture another day. You know, I, I relate to that quite a bit, actually. I feel like daydreaming is a nice thing, though. You know, it gets your mind off of things. Okay, let's get off to the next area here. Hello. You find a book of interest? Yes. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but the time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only there to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Hero jumps first, then Kel. Then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge Lime to join them, and after some careful thoughts, Lime warily agrees. He shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel so it feels as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet those of a black spider. In an instant, he loses all scent and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless, or that's what, it, that's what he believes. He shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Okay, so your boy can't swim. Uh, anything up here? Nope, we must continue down. Is it getting darker as we get further? I feel like it is. Oh yeah, this is where the journey ends, I think. Uh, any books up here? There's an L key. We'll go take it. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to be back here, so might as well take it right now. A little bit ominous. Uh, how many keys do we- Oh! Six keys left. Okay. Black. Ace. Welcome. To the black space. That's what it- I bet that's what it means. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. T-O. Welcome to black space. That's what it is. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Sure. Oh, what have we done? Oh, it's Basil. Hello there. Oh. Huh. A little bit of a... Or warrant. So, I'm trying to think. If this thing has anything to do with something, don't forget it's in the toy box. Oh, that's a little bit ominous. But, um, I'm trying to figure out if this is something paranormal or not. That is the question. Looks like we can only stab ourselves right now, so we'll go ahead and go do it real quick. I want to see what the light has to offer as well. So I might uh, revert a save back to that as well, but for right now, I think the only thing we can do is stab ourselves. Good night, buddy. Oh, yeah, sue me, man. Yep, that's never gonna get any better, I feel. But we did it. <laughs> we stabbed ourselves successfully in the gut. Two days left.
and we open our di- uh, we open our eyes to another day. We should get some knocking, and everything should be a okay. Yep, there it is. Hey, we got a message. Hello, who's there? You have a new message. Hey, Lime, it's Mom. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take the things at your own pace. By the way, you can check the closet downstairs and see if, if there's anything you want to keep. We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mom loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. Okay, what are our chores? You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Aw, oh, man. I'd like to do my chores. Okay, let's go save real quick, and I want to see what the other option was. Okay, so now we see this light over here. I want to check out what it is before I continue on with my journey. The wall feels hollow here. Can we hit it, maybe? Feels hollow. Okay, so... We're not able to do anything here yet, it seems. Oh, anything here? Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're able to do anything just yet. Okay, so we'll go ahead back to where we were before now. I just wanted to check that out before I continued anymore, because I wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything in the game. Okay, so let's go say hi to everyone before. Though, I want to go check out... Okay, we don't. we can't check out the closet yet? There's nothing we would need right now. I don't see any other closets, so I'm guessing that's what we needed to go to, and it doesn't want us to go through there yet. So I guess we'll just say hi to our old friends. Hey there, Kel. Hello? Hello? Lime, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Let's go say hi to my friend. Hey, do we not need to answer the door anymore? Or can we still answer it? Okay, we can still answer. What would you like to do? Open the door. Into the beautiful, beautiful light in the sun. Aw, oh, yeah. This is nice. Hi, Lime. Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> well, or like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop a little by later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be fun if we went together. You want to tag along, Lime? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Hey, happiness time. Okay. I see where the pinwheel comes from, though. Look at that. Uh, let's go check our pocket. Important. Mary CD. We got to sell this trash as well. I would like to sell that. Hero's gift. Oh, yeah. We still have that. Seashells by the seashore. Trash. Smelly and gross. Okay. Let's continue. A pinwheel blows freely in the wind. It's really cool to, like, actually see where stuff is coming from, though. Kel smells. What the heck? What happened here? Must have been Aubrey in the scooter gang. <laughs> Lime, to be honest, do I smell? Uh, oh, we, we don't answer that. Okay, we'll just continue on down. I want to pay a visit to the recycler real quick so we can get some extra cash on us right now. Hello there. No one's in the garden, really. Ooh, more trash, though. Very nice. Okay, we got... Hey, there's Basil as well. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Hey, neighbor, how's it going? Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Lime, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family's always lived here, but I just got sent off to board boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Lime. Chris is my next-door neighbor, and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid, or a shark, or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure they'd be a shoe in <laughs> Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. It feels fun. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I w went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day, but for the time being, 
I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. Hey, I got one. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, but Lime is actually moving away from me really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place? Oh, Lime's moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that sh we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. We got some money. Wow, it's such a cute one. <laughs> Thank you. What's gonna happen? Filling with their hands? Hey, no peeking. Sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, it's probably a little necklace, isn't it? All-American mom. What a lovely day for a picnic. I bought my specialties, chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course my famous apple pie. Very nice. Hey, Basil. Hey, Kel. Hey, Lime. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. You feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What, what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Ah, oh, right. I, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Lime's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Aw, oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, see you later, I guess. See ya, Basil. Empty picnic basket, yes, I would like to save. Okay, let's go sell our trash now, and we should be off to the races. No one else is around. Ooh, there's a very smelly homeless person here. <laughs> and a couple of kids running around. Okay. Get all the trash. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be rolling in money this time around. Hey, I need an allowance. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. Thanks. I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. Eleven buckaroonies. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead over to this plaza square. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza in the bakery in Othermar. Lead the way, Lime. You got it, friend Amundo. As I was saying, can you believe? And her. But then, hmm. Red glasses lady, that was the time we, yeah, and then. Honestly, I think that, yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, the scooter gang is here. Let's go check out Hobbies first. Then we can go check out Gino's. Hey, Lime, I just remembered something. Do you remember we used, when we were kids and used to sneak out of the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? We could never get up for school the next morning, and here on Mario would always, always ask why we look so tired. I'm sure they suspected something, but I'm glad they never told their moms. We were pretty adventurous back then, huh? <laughs> yes, we were. Hello there. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come here all the way from the city to shop here. Very nice. Yo, champs, just going on a whim here. But would you be interested in buying off my less pet rock? You should go for 25 bucks. But you seem like just the right guy for this one. So I'll let it go for 10. Yes? Give me a pet rock. Excellent. You and your pet rock are a good match. Take care of it. You got a pet rock. Whoa, hold on a sec, Lime. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens I have mine too. Right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? Uh, no. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't, it's really easy to catch on. You'll get it in no time. Now let's clash! Are you ready to clash? <laughs> oh, pet rocks. Okay, so it's like rock, paper, scissors. Paper. Let's see it. Ah, there we go. Combo times two. Rock. Man, this is no fair. Pluto's a lot more stronger than me. Okay, we hit him with rock again. That always works. Okay, he's still going rock. I'm gonna go rock again. All in, all in, all in rock. The probability that he picks... Oh my, okay. Is he just all paper? I mean, I'll just go... I'll go paper every time. <laughs> if that's what he thinks. Yeah! Please don't tell me Kel's a guy just to only go rock. <laughs> I guess we'll see very soon. At least we're gonna be able to... Oh my. Kel. No, dude. 
<laughs> Paper always wins, especially when the person always picks rock. Hey yo! Aw, oh, shoot, I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You're always the one who's good at video games anyways. I guess you're the same old Lime after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets can team up and battle or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champs some live somewhere around here, but no one knows what they look like. Kinda mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Cool. We'll equip our pet rock. The most loyal pet rock. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, they're actually little games. Okay, that's pretty cool. I work at the candy store, but I like to come here at breaks. There's always something new to look at because I'm never bored. Oh, there's a pet rock person over there. Oh. That's a little bit ominous. Chock full of comics. Okay. Ah, uh, we'll fight her in pet rocks. Bring it on, you dummy. Oh, I see you have a pet rock. Did you want to clash? Sure, let's do it. Okay. I've been training my tomato girl since I was a kid. I won't lose to you. We'll see about that. Are you ready to clash or die? <laughs> ah, too easy sometimes. Bring it on. We only lost one life there. Ah, oh, darn. It's okay. It's not your fault. You tried your best. Yes, I am the reigning champ. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish I bought something else now. It's Guitar Guy's donated box. Uh, yeah. Okay, we gotta head to Gino's first before anything else. Oh, this is a nice little pizzeria. Okay. Oh, we got Aubrey over here. Gino's pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So. We're still onto our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself. Out of a cool stick and a jump rope recently. You think it'll work, Charlie? Heh. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies for 10 bucks. Swimming. Sounds pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around here being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. <laughs> you can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the Maverick. I bit my dog. <laughs> what a loser. Ah, master, are you hurt? You pay for this, Kim. <laughs> okay. We'll go say hi to Gino real quick. Hey, buddy. Hello, and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Nom nom. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. Oh, it's not his actual name. You'd think it'd be because he, he's some kind of really cool, like, it'd be some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he's a kid or something. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. <laughs> that's a good nickname then. Okay, he's a Hero Sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Nice. Cool, thanks. Alrighty, we're good to go now, Lime. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery and other mar. Cool beans. Hey, Aubrey. How you doing? Ah, my dung. <laughs> Limey Kel, what are you doing here? Do you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? I guess I did sneak up behind you. Ew, it's a nerd. Leave us alone. We got no business with you today. Okay, birdie. Oh, he's just, he's just digging in. Pizza. Oh, my. No! I, I went through it again. Okay, we gotta get through this then. Hey there, Charlie. Hello. Okay. They don't want to talk to us. That's fine. We'll go head over to the bakery. I might go grab... Four important people. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go actually... Go grab a, a med kit real quick. Just so we have something to heal with. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Yeah, we'll go there in a sec. I just need to buy a first aid kit real quick. I need one pretty bad. 
Hello there. You kids need anything for cuts or scratches? First aid kit, or we could buy... Actually, the smart plan would just to be buy bandages. Yeah, five bandages. Give me five of those. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely a better call, I feel. Okay, we'll continue on down. Oh, that's really weird. Am I seeing stuff right now, or...? Fresh bread, fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Ah, uh, we actually gotta head up to the bakery. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? I am here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you'd be a bit here earlier. I'll go grab your order. Coolio. Hey, did you know this bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? I guess you can't really tell because it wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Oh, I did not know that. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Kel's bakery order. Nice. Cool, thanks. All right, we're gonna go now, Lime. I'm ready when you are. Coolio. Let's uh, head out of here. I don't think we have anything else to do. Um, I wonder where the lake is, though. Though I might need to get over my fear of drowning. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything in just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Here we should be home anytime soon. Alrighty. You lead the way, my friend the moon, though. First things first, I want to go check for trash. It's a bad habit, I know, but I need to check for trash. Hey, y'all got any trash here? I actually think one of these people needs tutoring. Don't they? Hey. Hello there, what can I do for you? Blue Flyer. Ah, you must be Joy's new language tutors. Hmm. An interview is too much trouble. You should know second grade language, right? Hurry and come in, my daughter Joy's waiting for you in her room. Okay, hold on. <laughs> we, we gotta go tutor for a sec. I need that money, I need that moolah, you know what I mean? Alrighty. Uh, I forgot her name already. Yeah, that's fine. Yo! Another day of studying. What are my brothers doing right now? Uh, can we help you? Bunch of textbooks. Alarm clock for responsible people. Ah, language. Okay, I don't think I can do it right now. Oh, the brother's a guitar dude. Okay, I guess we can't do anything just yet. You shouldn't leave while you have a job to do. A bunch of textbooks. Okay, we gotta do something in here. Hopefully we didn't get soft locked. Okay, I think we're actually stuck here. I don't know what else to do right now. Um, we might need to uh, just leave right now. Uh, we might actually be stuck for good. I actually can't do anything right now, so I think we're gonna have to revert a save. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a bummer, but I literally can't do anything else right now. I think it's bugged. Okay. I guess uh, we'll have to uh, load up another save. Alrighty, we'll get back to where we were before and we won't do a job for now. Alrighty, I actually got everything back and we should be in the clear. This feels a whole lot better now. Let's go head over to uh, Kel's house now, which should be right here with the dog. Look at the little doggy. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom's gonna be a little bit mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and, well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for us. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited, and almost, most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. So, you see, it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> got it? Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hop in here. Very nice home. Wow, actually a lot of paintings. Oh, mom, Lime's here. Wow, she went down fast. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How does it, how long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Lime? It must be. It's so good to see you again, but dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Yay, I had some microwave steak. <laughs> I think that's all I've had recently. Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. You gave the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Hurry, Lime, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Uh, uh, now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom, see you when dinner's done. Oh, smooth. <laughs> oh, this is such a nice house. A lot of paintings. Very upbeat. 
a shrine. A bunch of family photos. Kelsher has a lot of relatives. Oh, this is locked. I'm guessing it's parents' room. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Lime? I want to show you my room first. Oh, I just realized all the... Well, I can tell which side is, uh... Kells and which one is Heroes. <laughs> well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Nice. Oh, he's got a little gamer station, too. I'm the only one with the computer, though. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud because she says it's bad for Sally. Who's Sally? Oh, wait. You haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Lime? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Oh, that's nice. Kel! There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Yo, look at all these trophies. State spelling bee. Junior cooking competition. Hot dog eating contest. Ooh, man. Debate competition. Most improved. Nice. I can tell which one is uh, Kells and which one is Heroes very easily, which I do like. Okay, time to see who's at the door. First things first, I want to look at this photo here and see if we can... Oh, we can look at it. Kel and Hero's family photo. Wow, they are a lot, like, taller than I was expecting. What a good-looking family. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go head down, though. Hey, Kel. Hey, Lime. Sorry for intruding. I was wondering if you know where Basil is. <sighs> Ooh, no. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. <clears throat> you did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him again, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe we should try and find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. <sighs> okay. Just make sure to be home by dinner. Okay, cool. Let's head out. Um, I don't know where he could be, but I'm guessing it's by the lake. Uh, we haven't investigated the lake yet, so we'll, we'll just wander around for a hot second. We won't be taking up studying jobs because I don't want to get soft locked or er, hard locked again. World closed. Construction going on here. Some things never change. I guess we'll just keep an eye out for stuff. If we had our knife, we might be able to cut through stuff, but sadly, Kel kind of, you know, took away my beautiful shiny steak knife. Oh, almost forgot a piece of trash here. Nice. Uh, what is this up here? Bee's nest? An assuming beehive. Do you want to disturb it? No? Are you kidding? I don't want to die. Oh, well, there's actually a lot of trash that I left behind. Okay, I don't see any parks just yet, but we can sell this trash for a pretty penny at the very least. Hello there, ma'am. Yes, so we do have trash. Three bucks. Cool beans. Okay, we'll just keep an eye out. We'll, you know, give it the old, uh, try. Oh. Okay, we just walked into the park here, and we actually got a cutscene. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody, help! Lime, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please! Where's his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. Ah, in the trees. The entrance should still be somewhere around here. Okay, we gotta look for it now. Okay, that shouldn't be no problem. Oh, it has to be around here. Okay. Is it in a tree, maybe? Oh, cool. We found it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the original area. This makes sense. Help me! Somebody! Oh, what the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Somebody's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Oh, no. Can you let me go to the picnic basket to save first? Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the? Grumble, grumble. It's Kellen Lime again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey, we gotta defend our turf. 
This is actually a really cool hangout spot. <laughs> There's our puzzles. Oh, she's gonna go sicko mode, I feel. Aubrey. Here. Go away, Kelly. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now. Well, you, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or else we'll mess you up. Yo, yeah, that's like... 5v2. All I bought is a first aid kit and some bandages. Fine. That's how it's gonna be. At least stop bullying Basil. You weren't even doing anything to him. You just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why would I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you. The Maverick. We might have to defend. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Lime are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Oh my lo- How are we gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna focus. Skill. I'm guessing they're all gonna target Kel like usual, so I'm gonna guard with him. Okay, this might be going pretty bad. We might have bought we might have needed to buy more first aid kits, is all I'm saying. Okay, this ain't bad at all, actually. So I'm gonna go full on attack mode. Oh! They're all one person. Okay. Well, as they target Kel only for some reason, so as long as we keep him on the drip. Oh wow, we we can't do anything against him. Guard. Okay, we'll just see one more time. Yeah, they are just destroying Kel right now. We did nothing. Fight. Uh, we are not able to do anything. Are we even supposed to do this? Um, I guess we could try it and... No, dude. I don't know if we... Okay, we'll have Kel on attack. Oh, man, they are destroying us right now. 17 damage. Lime's attack did nothing. Skill. Oh, no. Okay, snack. Or toy, first aid kit. He's not gonna make it, dude. He is not gonna- No, 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 I did not mean- Okay, we got it off. Okay, Kel gives some encouragement. We'll be alright. For some reason- Wow, we are- I don't think we're able to do this. We are definitely not able to do this. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, no, we're doing something now. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. So, we'll have- uh, We only have- Two more bandages, so we're gonna go have Kel guard and just me attack, I feel. So, I think we just needed encouragement to actually punch him. Okay, we should be able to cinch this out in no problem. Hopefully. Yeah, team, I don't think we're gonna win this. Can we run? No, we can't do the old Joe Star technique. I- yeah, there's no way we win this. Huh. Huh. Is this real life? We won, Master, we won! Serves you right, nerds! I'm hungry, let's go get some food! Huh. Kel, Lime, get the heck out of here. I, there's no way we'd be able to do that. They were way too powerful for us, unless we literally stocked up on medkits like crazy. The evil foes have been defeated! Dang. Sorry, Lime. I didn't think we could take on six people at once. I used up all my bandages, man. Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari's already dead. Can you stop it with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act, too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at your old hangout spot. Do I, do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Oh, she's getting a little bit perturbed from that one. <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. Oh, they're heading out. And Kim is the last one to stay. Nope, she goes too. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later then. Please don't attack us. We we just used all of our medical supplies. Uh, Aubrey? No. <sighs> ah! 
Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Lime, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's the deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Oh, don't push him, dude. And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you show you still show your face to me after what you did? What did he do? Oh, there's a statue. Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Oh my... Yo... Shoot. Yo, he just... What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. W wait, hold on. I didn't mean to... Lime, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. I don't know how to swim. Do you want to save Basil? Of course. Jump, jump in. <laughs> We're both going to drown and die, aren't we? Or maybe I know how to swim now. If not, uh, we both might have just died there. Hello. Oh. Home sweet home. <laughs> oh no, dude. Yep, this door is locked. The store is locked. Are we st okay? We're still colorful, me. So, uh, watch this be timed, and I like just die in the water because I'm taking too long in investigating everything. Hi, Mari. I'm guessing she drowned. That's what I think. Then Basil's maybe too scared to go in after her. Oh, okay. So we're following Mari now. Into the depths below. This is a lot more peaceful than any other of the, uh, nope, uh, I was about to say it's peaceful, but here come the lingering hands of death. Hey. I guess we'll just keep on following. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be okay. Hearing the sirens call, some mermaids. Eldritch tentacle abominations. And there she goes. Okay, we'll follow her after. There's a knife here. Oh, I don't like this. This feels a little bit weird. Oh, she's gone. Hello? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a big boy. And we just got swallowed up into nothing. Something drags you down. This is Figment, right? Oh, we're still hurt, dude. Skill. Okay. Calm down. In the water. Take a deep breath. Fill your lungs with water. We're gonna be okay. Listen to some struggle. Skill. Focus. Just gotta hone it down into a blade. Okay. We focus. Listen to the line. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Okay, we'll just calm down. Okay, we'll be okay. Just gotta calm down. I, I don't think I should attack. Something listens to line. Struggle. You have to keep going. Don't give up, no matter how impossible it seems. You have to you reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Skill. Persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Ooh, that, that's nice, actually. You can take a real beating with that one. Lime persists. Okay. Oh, that was nice. What will Lime do? Ah, it's becoming actually, like, colorful now. Okay. Just calm down. Keep on calming down. Or we might just need to persist. Yeah, I think we need to persist. Okay. Water pulls Lime. Um. Can we attack? Something. Water pulls Lime in different directions. Okay, we still do nothing, so attacking is completely useless. We'll keep on persisting. Oh, wow. We just straight up heal up everything. Is it getting slightly more colorful? Skill. Persist. Just keep on persisting. Ah, we're being slowly dragged out of the water. Okay, or we're swimming out, hopefully with Basil on our hands, or else he is a dead man. Okay, I think we might have did it. That wasn't so bad at all, actually. 
Oh, no, we're drowning. We are just straight up drowning. Oh, someone saves us. That's very nice. Oh, it's Mari. What was that flash? Oh, just waking up. Okay, I thought that was like a jump scare, kinda. Hey, it's Hero! Hey, buddy. Nice cut, Chief. Okay, so we got saved in the nick of time. Yeah, the whole gang's all together now. Gang's all here. Hmm. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do y'all think you're going? That's enough. Don't you think you caused enough trouble? Come on, guys, we gotta go. I mean, yeah, you kinda did, uh... Kinda did do that to us. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we should try to bring him home as soon as possible. Okay, we can't talk to Aubrey. Okay. Man, Hero can straight up run with Basil in his hands. Wow. Do we need to bring him home, maybe? Or do we go right to, uh, Kel's home? Well, don't matter. At least we got him. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Oh, look at the kitty! Okay, we actually probably shouldn't linger too long around here, especially when someone is just so close to death. Probably, like, water-filled lungs. Wouldn't that mean pneumonia? Okay. Okay, we actually gotta bring him home, home. Got it. Oh, wrong way. Okay, I got it, I got it. Down here, this should be the way. But it's actually really cool to see the parallels between um our dream world and the real world itself. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Get Hero being so capable. Whew. That was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Oh, we can actually move. Okay. Well, I guess we can go save. Empty picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. I wonder what happens if you actually fail those, uh, like, fear checks. You know, if you just try and run, or, uh, completely screw it up and die in the water. Hey, Grandma. This flower obviously has some type of meaning to it. Language of- My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. I wonder if that is for Mari or for Basil. Because Basil does have, I feel like, some kind of influence, you know, on the whole world order. Hey, Cal. Hey, Lime. It looks like Basil's just gonna be fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey. She pushed Basil, uh, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there's some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, hero. She's all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. Yeah, let's go home, guys. Uh, can we actually visit uh, Basil before we leave? Oh, we can. That's nice. I've been taking care of Basil for two years already, but I barely know anything about him. I wish he would open up, up about himself more. I just want to help. Hey, Basil. Oh, Lime. There's no way out of this, is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll be back for you tomorrow. Okay, I guess that's it. We'll go uh, head home. At least we talk to him, you know? That's nice of us and all, I guess. Alrighty. Let's get going on out of here. Unless there's something in the... I want to check the mirror, actually, with all three of us. Oh, it's only us. 
Okay, nothing crazy? Nope. We will continue. I just realized they even have a uh, plant in the bathroom. Didn't really notice that last time because last time it was hitting the fan. You know, Lime, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping in the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Do you want a high five, Kel? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, he really just winds back with those. Okay, let's get going. Try not to go on the street and try not to get run over. That's always a bit of a problem. Maybe that's how Mari died, because Mom is always saying to look both ways across the road. I am sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Uh, I have a lot of demons in my home. <gasps> oh, please, I want to see the dog. But why is it glowing here? Aw, oh, look at the doggy, Hector. Am I a good boy? Yeah, you are. You're a great boy. You want to play with Hector? Heck yeah, I do. Oh. Oh, look at him go. He's got the ball. <laughs> I love his little walk animation. It's just a little sprite moving across. Heck yeah, Hector. He's a good boy. Okay. Let's uh, go into the home now. That was totally worth it, though. Ooh. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, something ripped off the head of that teddy bear. Kel! Hero, where have you two been? It's so late, I was worried, I was worried sick. Sorry, Mom, we got held up. But the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Hmm. I'll let you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And, <laughs> it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom, that's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, your dad is right. There's no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've all missed you so much. I'm guessing that's a baby. Ah, sounds like Sally is awake. I'll go get her. <laughs> Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. Cool. Thanks, Kel's dad. Kel's and Hero's dad. Cool. Let's go grab some food and heat it up. Make a beeline straight for the... Oh, man. That looks pretty good. Got cookies, sandwich. You can get a home-cooked meal, but it's cold. You can heat it up using the microwave. What about the Hero sandwiches? Look, Hero, we got your favorites. Some chocolate chip cookies and a big old Hero sandwich. Oh, how sweet. It's exactly the same as last year. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go pop it in the old microwave. Chef's delight. Probably. Whew. Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Lime. It's really been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you two again, Kel. So, Lime, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't bad once you get used to it. I think it'd be good for you, Lime. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Ah, we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food... Drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I missed most was hanging out at your place, Lime. You guys had everything. Big TV, the newest toys, grand piano, and of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Lime? I, was there a treehouse here? Looks like the food's done. Let's eat it in the living room. We can continue chatting there. Oh man, we're not even e eating in the kitchen? This is too much for me. <laughs> I wonder what uh, time period this takes place in. Like, I'd say 80 to 90s? That's just like the rough guesstimate because of the big box TVs, big box computer, and all that jazz. By the way, Hero, 
Oh wait, no, wrong voice. By the way, Eero, Basil gave Lime his photo album yesterday. You want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look through the album while we eat dinner. Alright, drop her down. We already looked through most of them, I feel, so... Yeah, we already read all these in the previous episode. Look at us. I don't think there's anything else right now. Yep, goodbye summer until next year. Okay. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yes. It's too bad some photos are missing. Aubrey stole the photo from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, hey, hey Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just that, well... Mari isn't any of these photos. Oh, you're right, she isn't. <sighs> Still, this photo album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids, huh? <laughs> I'm... I have a favor to ask. You think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince Mom first. Probably gonna be kinda mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. <laughs> I can't do a baby scream that bad. Or that much. Whew, what a mess that was. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Pee. Ooh, boo. <laughs> hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. And she just starts crying even harder. Stop it, Kel. You're scaring her. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, Mom? We were wondering if we could go hang out at Lime's house today, since he's moving away soon. Oh, but you just came back, and it's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm gonna be here for the rest of the summer, and Lime is leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for Hero to spend some time with Kel and Lime. I haven't seen Lime around for so long now. Been a while since the boys had the chance to hang out. I say we should let him. Fine then, you boys can have your fun, but Hero has to wash the dishes for the next week. Sure, I guess I can do that. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, you're free to go. Come on, Sally, let's leave your mean, your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? Yeah, see you later. Oh, Mom. Alright, let's head to my house. Din Din's on me. You... Hey, so I'm really glad that we got to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. Before you head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate it. Oh, I see our flowers already. I think we should get my mom some fresh ones though. Fix it isn't that far off anyways. Oh, hero, always a mama's boy. <laughs> Alrighty, let me go save up real quick and we will head over. Oh, I just realized that there's a pair of sneakers just hanged up over there. It's pretty cool. We'll continue to overwrite saves. We just gotta commit. You know, if we get... Uh, I hope we don't get a bad end. Uh, it'd be kind of depressing if we do. I'm getting really invested in the story. I really like it so far. I mean, I guess that's pretty known, seeing as I, I'm playing these games in like five-hour intervals. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things in perspective. I may make it... Okay. He just says the same thing. Alrighty. Go ahead over to fix it. Get some new flowers, because my old flowers weren't good enough, I guess. That's fine. I didn't even know what I bought those flowers for. Hey, a money machine. Welcome to fix it. I can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What interest in you? Oops. Oh. Oops. Before I forget, Lime, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I'd let you pay for it, did you? Uh, well, Kel did that. You got $10 from Hero. Wow. Oh, wow. Yo, Kel. I didn't have to. I didn't realize like, flowers are only two bucks. Mom's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off at my place, Lime. Kel is such a bro, dude. Imagine, like, having something be two dollars and you give the guy twenty. Man, that, that's so nice. I wish I could give back the money. I, I would have feel, like, I'd feel bad if I did that. You know, if I just got an extra eighteen bucks. Especially since money probably costs a lot more in this time period. So, I could see that. Okay. Hmm. Looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. 
That sound good to you? Yeah. Hey yo. The gang's all here. Where's uh the mom at? I'm guessing bedroom, right? There they are. <laughs> hey mom, I got you some flowers. Uh oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha, <laughs> Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. I'm sorry for overreacting earlier. I know Lime is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be. Take care, Lime. Now that you always have a home here. Okay, let's head back. Man, sometimes it's just really nice just to absorb the music of this game. It is very... Oh, wow, it's dark. Okay. Oh, is a treehouse in the back? Wow. It just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Lime. Okay, let me go save real quick. I have a I have a very bad habit of just saving over everything. Almost 13 hours in, man. Woo! Hello. Whoa, this place is cleared out, Lime. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here when we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this was the time, this was the stain that, from that one time I spilled my orange gel. Mari got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cat stepped in and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh yeah, huh. Aw oh, man. It looks like it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's gonna be the last time in the house forever, right? And when will be when will be the last time we can spend the night with Lime like this? I'd love to, but Mom's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna wash dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. Hey, everyone's here. Can we check out the treehouse? Nope, still not in our head. I wish we could turn on the lights. It's very dark in here, man. We don't have, we don't have any natural light. Oh, we're all just chilling in my room. Empty. Empty fridge. I probably haven't been eating in like the past a week or so. Can we go in the closet yet? Ah, I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left. Piano room was to the right. I wonder if the piano's still there. I'll go ahead and see. Oh, wait, there's a... Wait. R piano to the left? Oh, must be their left. Oh, no. Oh! So it wasn't a shrine or anything that I was thinking. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that was really nice, hero. Show off. <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Lime. Th that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? The violin? Oh. It's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There's a song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? The song that goes doo 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 doo. Ah, man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyways. Where should we sleep, Lime? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Kel. Wait for me. A grand piano. The word Amori 
is, stri is etched across the center. Oh, it's this song. Cardboard boxes are littered across the room. Oh, ain't that nice? I'm gonna have to give that uh, main menu theme another gander later. One of the old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. This bookcase has been cleared out. Oh, ain't this nice. I guess we'll go head up and we'll go check the bathroom first. Oh. Hey, Mari. Oh, okay. That was a little okay. Oh, I didn't really like that too much, no. Um, I guess everyone's waiting in the room for me, but. Mari? Hey. I'm, I'm gonna be using this empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? Sure. Doink. Okay, I think we're ready. To go to sleep. Unless I I want to go check out the, actually the downstairs area again before I do anything else. I want to make sure that I am not missing anything. Nope, nothing over there. Okay. I think we're ready. I don't think there'd be anything else in here that we need. Nope. Okay. Let's go. Uh, it's a good thing that we just gave it a try anyways though. Alrighty boys, time for a good old fashioned sleepover. Better get some nice art of this. Oh, this is like so comfy. How did they set this up so quick? Hey, Lime, we built a bed for it. Hope you don't mind. It was all Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Hero, Lime and I got you a gift. Lime Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. It's Papa Chip Chip off the old Blocks cookbook. You remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. This seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, Hero. Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But, you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? Haha, <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. <sighs> well, he's already asleep. Wow, he goes to sleep quick. He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Lime. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. But it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> It's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. A anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. Good night, Lime. I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, I won't be able to sleep there. Hero sleeping soundly. Snore. 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 Okay, while you guys are asleep, I'm gonna play Vidya and write a uh, permanent marker on your face and draw mustaches on. An old computer. Okay, let's go to sleep. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Hey, everyone's here. Nice picture. Oh. No one's here. Oh. It's locked, isn't it? That's a little bit foreboding. The door's locked. Hello? Guys? Neatly wrapped present. 
photo of someone familiar. Hey there. Oh, I just realized a cat follows me with its eyes. <laughs> oh, the snake didn't give me um an allowance. Hey, it's my allowance. Tss, waiting for something to happen. Okay, I guess no allowance for me today. Huh. Everyone's gone. Let's go check the mirror, maybe? A floating mirror. You are all alone. You want to play hide and seek? No, I'm good. Oh, everyone is gone. Well, the only place that I know where to go right- Tag. Oh, maybe we do need to play hide and seek? You are alone. Do you want to play hide and seek? Sure. We'll go give it a good ol' try. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna play- I'm gonna play tag by myself. Hello? Oh. Ah, uh, yes, some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? No, I'm good. I would like to save, though. Save right here. 13 hours in. Still going strong, baby. Found you. You wanna play again? No, that's actually really depressing. Oh, man. <laughs> that is super depressing. Okay. Um... Is everyone gone? I think they are. Okay, let's go check out Basil's house first. I want to make sure that all the... All the plants are watered and all that jazz before we head out. Oh, a thick fog envelops the entire forest. Okay, we can't go over there. Sorry, Mari's house, but uh... I mean, not Mari. Basil's house. I guess I'll have to leave you. Can we go in this way? No, it's too thick. Okay, so I'm guessing the only way we can go is up north, and that is where we drown ourselves, right? Oh, this is a little bit eerie now that it's just me. Pail and shovel. Hey, Mari. Amori, you're here! I'm so glad you found me. Kel, Aubrey, Hero, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest. Everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. You want to join me? Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I'll keep you company so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. Aw, oh, this feels a little weird, dude. I can't- I can't press X anymore. I can't go into the menu. We have to get over a fear of drowning now. We got this. Steady your heartbeat, don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Oh, thanks, Mari. You are no longer afraid of drowning. Hey, we're swimming! Nice. This is the last zone, I think. Everything else is gone. It's all forfeit. Zilch. Probably should have gave myself everything if I knew this was coming. Oh, this is a little weird. I'm guessing we can't get tagged by them? Or the ghosts in the water? Oh, this is a little bit spooky. Well, I guess we'll continue up ahead. Try and avoid all the shadows in the water as best as we can. Just swim, swim, swim away. Me and Mari got this. There's definitely shadows here. Some land as well. Ah, here's a ladder. Cool. I don't want to stay in that too long. It reminds me of like that one, like, marshy area from Lord of the Rings. Where if you look in the water, they'll drag you in and drown you and you can join their ranks too. Have we been here before? I feel like we might have. Amori, I'm so proud of you. You swim all the way here even though you've always been terrified of water. But there's still one thing, one big thing you're afraid of, isn't it? Oh, isn't there? Something a little bit harder to overcome. Death? Depression? Sadness? I don't like this at all, man. I'll just continue on ahead. See where it takes us. Stepping on the beach. 
Ooh, stepping on the... Oh, there's... There's a boys and girl. Oh, this is a little bit eerie. We'll just... Okay, that's... That ends in a square, so we'll just keep on moving ahead. Oh, there's everyone with the watermelon. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting a little bit eerie now. See you guys later. Actually, should I investigate so that they disappear? I don't even know if that has an... Okay, yeah, I'll just look at it so they disappear. I feel a little bit better when they're not here. I feel like we are nearing the end game. I don't think we're going to be able to continue this very soon. Hey. I don't know who those guys were. All the memories. Trip down memory lane. Me and Mari. Mari and me. Marley and me. Good movie. I think that's all of them? I guess we'll go check around the area. Maybe we miss some. Hey, Basil. A little bit weird. We'll just continue. Maybe there wasn't any shadows on there anyways. I think we're still going in the semi-right direction. Still coming across new stuff. So, oh, I bet, no, 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 I bet there was a shrine for Mari, but it was hidden behind that curtain, huh? Amori. It seems that he'd forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. Oh, she floats. You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop, though. I, I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to stay anymore, but... I hope you're still there, Lime. I really miss you. Aww. Yeah, she's dead. I mean, we knew that for a while. Goodbye, little brother. Oh, I don't like this. We can- wait. I don't think that's good, though. I don't think we go in the water with her. I don't- oh, we just got swallowed up. Oh! Do we go up or do we go down? I see we go up. Up is- up is- yes. Yes is up. Okay, that was a little bit weird. Um... Oh, we made it out. Can we swim out of here? I don't wanna- I don't wanna join. There's nothing here. Okay. I guess there's only one way to go then. There's nothing here. Oh, this is... Getting a couple of chills. So weird not having my party with me. I guess the only way to go is down. At least we gave it the good we'll try. We must descend into our mind and our psyche. Oh, there's water here. We'll just hop on in there. The angler. That's a really cool angler fish. Now, that creature design does remind me of something straight out of Off, which is another beautiful RPG maker game. Uh, how many do we have? Welcome to the... Bl it's obvious it's welcome to the black space. Welcome. We actually do need an M. So we will take it. There we go. Man, I thought we'd be able to backtrack or like we'd have to do something. Five keys left. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Stare into the abyss. In the abyss. Here's back. Okay, very nice. Oh wait, no, I want to see the frog! Oh no! Go back! Go back, I want to see frog boy. Where the heck are we? Oh, I should have talked to frog boy. I really regret not talking to frog boy. Oh, if he was a save file. Oh! Whoa. This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna head back and talk to, uh, Frog Boy. Ribbit. Waiting for something to happen. Okay. Hey, Gator Boy. This lane's garp only, kid. Come back when you got friends. Aw. We got a taxi here. I'm guessing we can't use the taxi, right? Oh, they're gone. Hey. 
Hey, kid. You want to ride back to the deep well? I'll drive you as much as you want. It ain't a big deal to me. I get paid salary. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Jellyfish doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. What about you, dog cow thing? Hey. Roman, Roman, Roman. Roman, Roman, Roman. We'll just continue down this road for as long as we can. Hello. One clam. Nice. I wonder if we'd actually be able to, uh, sell that off later. Endless highway. Huh. Oh, I, I just missed a clam here. It is obviously not endless, because, uh, the clams persist. So, we'll just keep on walking until we find something cool. Okay, I think we're actually in an internal loop now, so I think I'm gonna keep on walking until I come across one of these nice taxis. Hey, kid. Yeah, I wanna drive back to Deepwell. Whoa. Man, it's really weird not, like, voicing anyone anymore. It's just me and taxi driver number one. Come back anytime, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Carpool only. Come back when you have friends. Okay. I guess we can only go up then. You don't have any friends. Hey, you want to be my friend? Uh, I guess we just head back up, maybe? We'll try and move into a different direction. I don't know what to do here. Okay, we're back on the surface, so might as well try something here. Honestly, don't know what it wants me to do right now. There's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing around here. All we have is a well. It says we need friends, but that's obviously not going to happen anytime soon. Nothing here. Can we go up the waterfall? We try and swim up it. It's always... No. Okay. I guess we're going to have to just try and find a friend. Maybe we can find one somewhere in this lonely world. We can't stab ourselves. So we're going to have to just keep on looking around, I guess. Hey, kid, you want to go somewhere cool? You should go to the last resort. It's the hottest, trendiest place to be these days. I can take it there if you want. It's all the rage. Come on. Don't be shy. I don't bite much. Okay, sure. Probably should have just followed this guy first. There we go. Oh, did we just hit something? A little bumpy, but not that bad. Come back anytime, kid. Oh, there's a uh, cow. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, he's actually colored. Oh, no, never mind. Hey, Amori. There you are. Where you been, buddy? Well, you were gone. Everyone got tricked into signing contracts, so we all have jobs now. <laughs> we're growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. Oh, so is this supposed to investigate, like, everyone getting jobs and all that? Okay. Hey, there's Mari. The last resort. Beautiful place, man. There it is. I guess everyone got moved down here into the water. This is a nice last zone, I'll be honest here, though. We definitely need Audrey, it seems like. Are you gonna follow me, Kel? But I gotta say, this job thing isn't all it's cut out to be. Why don't we, 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 why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? You has been traveling a lot for work lately. But I know for sure that Aubrey's look at working on the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. Okay, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Can we use... Oh, that's so cool. Of course, they don't really look in the right way, but still. Hey, man. Hey, you. Yes, you with the stoic compression. You want to pose at this very unique and handcrafted cardboard cutout? 100 clams. You know, we got money to spend. Sure. Awesome, thanks. It's right over there if you want to use it. Oh, wow, you just completely scammed me. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I was able to use that for free. Once in a lifetime offer. Yeah, you just shelled me. Yeah, yeah, it's stoic compression. Unique soda from the finest of butt peaches. Talking about the... Butt peach soda, 600 cl- Dude, they're gonna- they're gonna rob me dry! Yes, yeah, bugger off! Hey, you, yes, you with the stoic compression! Honest to goodness, completely organic, bottled water. Liquidation sale, 500 cl- Dude, no! These goo men are just robbing me, man! Hey, keep my money. Hey, Mari! Ooh, is that sushi? Hey, Mari, look at the- look who's finally decided to show up! Amori, it's good to see you again. What is it, Amori? Aren't you happy to see your big sis? 
Oh. Oh, that's just Amori being Amori. Can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was just saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. So me and Amori are gonna go get Aubrey and Hero, and then we're gonna find Basil? Oh yeah! That's what we were going to do. <laughs> Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about it, Mari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of the last resort real quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. Come on, Amori. I can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome. Is he now? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, some raw seafood. Yes, give me some sushi, please. Thank you. I gotta love those. Okay, let's go save up, and I'd like to talk to Mari again. Save out of Mom's room into the fire. Hey, little brother. Are you feeling a little bit better now? Why don't you enjoy a nice picnic with me? It always seem to cheer you up. Ah, uh, I was kind of hoping it'd say yes. Hey, another joke. Well, what lies at the bottom of the ocean in Twitches? A nervous wreck. Nice. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. <laughs> Man, that is one good joke. What a good freaking joke. Got some ramen. Nice. Hey there, starfish boy. Hey, you kids uh, here on vacation or you're one of the staff? With all this construction going on, they can at least invest in some uniforms. Hey! Charlene! Hey, no splashing in the pool, okay? I guess everyone did get a job. Wait, can I hop in this? You're pretty sure this pool's haunted. Do you want to go in? Yeah. Oh, I just realized a face in there. <laughs> I'm just going in there with, uh... Hello? Um... Don't jump scare me, please. Hello? Oh, what the heck? Ghost party! Oh, well, this is nice. I want the key. Ghost party. Okay, let's go head down. Hello? Man, they got all the food here. Every single meal that we've had. Hey! My goodness, what impeccable timing! I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I've sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to at attend this elegant feast of mine. But as, of, but as of this moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance, not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost may would be enraged, but my finer senses tell me they may have simply become lost on the way here. You see, when I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? Sure, I can try. I've seen some ghosts. Here are some maps with directions to my party, stamped with my personal top hat and seal of approval. You got six spooky maps. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will find their way here on their own, Charlie. Look at these little rings. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, we didn't need to know. We, we, we totally didn't need to know. Four keys left. <sighs> oh, no, we did one. We did need one. Welcome to Black Space. I know that is for sure the answer. Go into the hole. Sure. Oh, man. This is weird, dude. Starting to fall apart at the seams. Everything is not as, as it seems. Two seats and a TV. Videotape labeled Amori. Videotape labeled Basil. I'll take Amori first. Yes. Oh no, did I? Okay, we'll just we'll go check it out. Hop in Amori. Huh. Oh, hey, Barty Jash. Oh, let's buy some stuff. Sparkler. Flex set. We need like a few poetry books. Nice. Also, I will grab. I'll I'll grab one of everything. There we go. Yeah, these are gonna be pretty nice to have. So getting these right now are gonna be nice. Anger, sad, happy. Cool. We'll save off the rest of our money. We'll go. Uh, you know, help them out when we can. But first things first, we gotta go back to the haunted pool, which is actually terrifying to go through. <laughs> okay, let's go head up now. Hey, I'm gonna go save real quick, big sis. Don't mind me. Yoink, 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 yoink. There we go. Ready to rock. Let's do this. 
Hey, there's the old, uh, guy. We might need to sell some stuff. To be honest, we might be able to make a lot of money. Well, we definitely would. Who am I kidding? Wow, look at this place. It's also new and adventurous. We gotta make it to the fifth floor. Oh, everyone's here. Okay, that's cool. Everyone from the playground has gotten jobs. Nose goes. They'd be a really bad cashier. Nah, you serious? Not again. Don't worry about it. That won't be a problem. Oh, these guys fight. Hey, what are you doing in here? You're gonna breach a contract. Yeah? Well, um, we really need to change out Lucky Slice here. Skill, ricochet, gun. Okay, first things first, sad poem on myself. Skill, we'll hit him with a flex. Okay, he shouldn't hit too hard, hopefully. We're strong boys. We are very strong boys. Okay, he hits hard. Kel's playing slots. Kel, 98 clams. Hell yeah, heck yeah, dude. Okay, now we stab him. And now Kel, go uh, eat this whole, uh, yeah, eat this chicken wing. Enjoy it, buddy. And then we stab him. Right into the heart, dull attack. He gets rough. Ah, oh my. Oh, man, that's, that's bad. Then with the stab, and we'll just normally attack. And we'll pass to Amori, because that's all we can do. Actually, we need to, um... Oh, he's getting rough again. Don't kill. Oh, man. Kel's playing slots. 50 clams. Nice. Okay, this guy's just about dead. We'll hit him with the stab. Kel can eat this chicken wing to save himself from dying. There we go. He's definitely the weakest of everyone, so we need to worry about that. Whew. And I'm not feeling too good, team. Okay, we'll hit myself with- we have a lot of chicken wings, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, attack, pass to Amori. There we go. Come on, man. This is gonna be like one of the first uninterrupted fights I've had in a while. Amori feels ecstatic. Nice. 900 clams, or 400 clams, 900 XP. Hey. We hope you're enjoying yourself to the last resort. Please let us know if you need anything. This is so weird. <laughs> Bro told me the way here, but I don't know if he can come back anytime soon. You know, I don't make name Mr. Jossum. Bro says he's got some business with I'm... Huh. Gah, how'd I get myself into this dump? It's just one thing after another this week. Yo, can I play some slots? Yes. Oh my god. 300 bucks. Spin to win! Come on! Watermelon? Who? Oh! Ah! Woo! Yeah, let's play again. Let's play again. Bet 200. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. Money, 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 money. No, that's not money. Bet again. Bet, bet, bet. Let's go. Okay, we're losing money. We're done here. <laughs> I don't want to lose too much now. There's a lot of gators here, huh? We are not able to fight a lot of them. We'll just avoid them for now. Hey, there's N. Nice. Let's go grab N real quick. N is for... Actually, welcome. Okay, we do need a black one. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, let's continue on ahead. Hey, Lucy, how's it going? Okay, we need to go to the fifth floor, remember. Amori, it's probably not a good time, but I really, really have to go to the bathroom. As I always say, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, but I have to go to the bathroom! Oh, we are trapped. Okay, let's do it. We'll fight this guy, no problem. Aren't you tired of getting thrown out, kid? These gators are no joke. Hey yo, we won. 600 XP, nice. 400 clams, level 19. Painful truth, huh? That's a new skill. We'll replace it with Lucky Slice. We actually got Trick as well. Deals damage to a foe. <gasps> oh, that's good. That's really good. Painful Truth. That is actually really nice with my build that I got with Amori right now. Okay, let's go to the boys' bathroom. Here you go, buddy. Oh, the pee's in here. <laughs> pee's in the toilet. That's funny. Okay, hold on, Amori. This will take a minute. Yeah, yeah, take your time, man. I gotta go back in that still to collect business. Ah, much better. You notice Kel didn't wash his hands. You, you monster. Let's go grab the pee now. Welcome to the black space. Yes, we do need a pee. Three keys left. Oh, we are approaching ground zero. There's a hole here. Oh. 
Very lucid. I like the uh, color combinations though. They look very nice. I don't really like that though. That's a demon. That's an actual demon. Is that like an ang the mix of angler, like of an angler fish and Mari? Oh, we got eaten, I guess. I'm guessing we're gonna be able to grab the other VHS. Nope. Okay, a little bit weird. Can we go in the... No, we can't. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go uh, head up to the elevator now. Whoa, look at this! Very expensive and controversial art piece. Is that just a shark? That's a... That's a... It's just a sprite of a shark. <laughs> hey, Mari! Isn't this a cool elevator? It smells kind of like perfume and smoke. Oh, hi, Mari. Hello, you two. Let's see now. So if I got this straight, Aubrey's on the fifth floor. Why isn't it working? What did you do, Kel? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear, they disappeared on their own though. Let's try looking around the other floors for one. it has gotta be a cool key card around here somewhere. Okay, buddy. Hey, little brother. Are you feeling a bit better now? Why don't you enjoy a nice picnic with me? They always seem to cheer you up. Very nice. We'll eat some seafood. On the spot, my boys. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Your new friends feel like new. Let's go save up and let's continue on our merry way. Almost 14 hours in. We are trucking. Okay, we will try... Uh, third floor. Let's go crazy, go wacky, go wild. One of these might have it. Now, we honestly can't fight Crocs that good, so we gotta worry about them a little bit. Hey! Hey, bun. The patrons at this place sure know how to make a mess. Having a job sure is tough. I hope Nose is doing okay without me. And Nose goes. Nose goes. We decided to come here on our honeymoon because they offered a free roam and luxury resort experience. Luxury, my butt. This place is as shoddy as it gets. I can already see the paint coming off the walls. Okay. A fedora? Milady? <laughs> Hold on. Actually, defense and luck. Uh, we don't really need luck or defense. I wish there was a, a gadget that allowed us to, uh, whatchamacallit, to, uh, start off. <gasps> life jam, dude! Hey, kids, I'm the life jam guy. I sell life jam. It really works. Would you like to buy some? 250. Nah, I don't need Life Jam right now. Haha, <laughs> that's okay. You won't need to later. Is that a threat, Mr. Life Jam guy? Hey, lady. Might as well talk to you. Oh, my sweet sons are all so hard at work. You better not be causing them any trouble. Or else, I'll smack you all the way tomorrow. I, I stabbed like two of them with my knife. You're a poo poo head. <laughs> you really showed them. Haha, <laughs> loser. Okay, let's go ahead to floor. We'll try basement. Okay, we'll go at it on a very weird tangent, right? <laughs> Hopefully this works. The basement shall commence. Okay. Oh, nice little slime guy here. I'm Burpo, and I wouldn't be anyone but me. Uh, glad to hear that, Burpo. Okay, this is just another elevator. Wow, these are actually a lot smaller than I thought. Yo, what's up? Take it easy. We ain't gonna fight you. At least not we're off the clock. Can I have some za? Give me the za. Mmm, pizza. Stocks are up. Good, good, good. You found a fish fish taco. Oh, hell yeah, cabinet. Locker rooms. Anything cool in here? Trash bin. Locker. Bottled water. Locker. 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 Ooh, book here. Book. Poetry book. Nice. Okay, I think that's all there is to be had here, at the very least. We shall continue. This place is full of a bunch of money gambling extortionists. I Ooh, punching bag. That's gonna be good for Aubrey. That's her, I think, one of her final weapons. We'll probably give Aubrey the fedora, to be honest. I think she'd get the most use out of it. Okay. Second floor? It is. And then we'll try out the fourth floor. That's how it should work, anyways. Okay. Let's see how this thing goes. Mm, hey! Clean and a clean and a clean and a clean. Boss told me to paint wherever I want, so I'm painting some flowers. Very nice. Hey. 
The boss tried me put to put tried to put me to use, but when he, when he realized I couldn't do anything, he told me to be a bed tester. Hmm. Yep. This bed sure feels good. That's probably like the best job, dude. A bed tester. Hey, we got the cool key card. Cool. We found a cool key card. We should be able to get to the fifth floor from the elevator now. Let's go find Aubrey. Hold on. I'm not done checking this place. A lot of goodies to be had, and I feel like we're gonna need them. Hey. A doll with an empty face. It doesn't look like. It belongs here. Would you like to throw it away? No, I don't think I will. Table lamp. That's rude. Just throwing someone's doll in the trash. Trying to be the good guy here. Trying all I can. Okay, let's head to fourth floor. I want to see what's up here. And then we shall get Aubrey. Then I think that's that'll be a good spot to end the episode. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going over here, guys? Some construction's going on. Hey. Actually, I do need to talk to you. Up oh, or not. Whoa, dude! <laughs> Engineering is like a puzzle, and I love puzzles. Nice one, man. Hey, hi, little brother. We've seen a lot of each other. Anyways, come sit. It's not like you to turn down a picnic. And look there. You've got to admit, the view's pretty nice. Alright, picnic basket. Okay, I'm guessing since the picnic basket is here, we fight this guy. But we are not ready to fight anyone right now, so I think we just head back. Yeah, we, we definitely need to fight them, and we are not prepared at all. Oh, toilet ramen. Also, can I talk to you? Ah, there we go. Don't mind me. I'm just a lost floating mustache carrying about his day. Give a spooky map to him. Whoa, hold on a second. What do we have here? Directions to Top Hat's party? Well, gee, I better skedaddle. This party sure do doesn't start until I arrive. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> God, they have... Really disturbing uh, sounds of leaving, though. Hey, I'm just passing by, guys. Don't mind me. <gasps> Ball pit. I can't jump in there, dude? Oh man, that's whack, yo. Okay, let's go grab Aubrey. And uh, end this run in style, alright? I think next episode may be the last. I feel like we are getting very close to the end game. Used your cool key card. We are approaching endgame, guys. Just a little bit more. Hey, this is nice. Lord Jossum. Oh! <laughs> Sir Jossum. Professor Jossum. Dr. Jossum. Mr. Jossum. Very nice. Hey, Burly. Well, 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 look who we have here. You're trying to talk to the big boss, are you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I can't let anyone through here willy-nilly. Aw, oh, man, really? Come on, Burly, we've known each other forever. You can't do us a small little favor. Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Kel, it's the boss's orders. Today is a big day, so he doesn't want any disturbances. We got Tofu Fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But Burly, it's me, your old friend Kel. Me and you used to go way back. Think of all of our good times together. Hey, quit it. They maybe had a security for a reason. They wanted someone tough. Someone who could take the, make the hard decisions. A hard-headed person. I mean, look at my badge. It's so shiny. Hmm. Quick, Kel. Think of something fast. Oh, I know. Hey, Burly. A good friend of Mori is interested in a job. You know the boss would never turn down free work. Hmm. That is true, but... Please, Burly. Please, 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 please. Oh, all right. I'll let you through this time. But only if you get me some bottled water first. I'm parched. I got gotcha. you. Hey, you two got me some bottled water. Thanks, I owe you one. Come on, boys. Or they got pizza in the back of the break room. <gasps> pizza? Some za? All right, free pizza. Yeah, bro. Oh, hope there are any pineapples in it. <laughs> cool beans. See you later, Burly. You nerd. Oh, yeah, I, I, actually, there was some za in the break room. I remember seeing that. Yeah, let's get... Oh. Welcome to the black space. I don't think we need... Welcome... Oh, no, we totally need a... Wait. We don't need a queue. Uh, how's uh, Hangman looking, though? I don't want to, you know, fully hang someone. Okay, I think we're good. Yoink that real quick. Q... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Okay, maybe we should stop getting all the keys, to be honest. That's probably not a good idea. Black. Space. 
So we need a W, a T, and an S. Okay. We are done grabbing the ones that don't matter. I don't want to get the full hangman. Uh, concierge. Sure, that sounds fancy. Invest. <laughs> okay. I demand to be dropped off here now. Ooh, look at you. Well, your Jawsome needs a new bodyguard who's real tough. But there's no way there's going to be a match for a touchdown. <laughs> cool beans. Oh, look at you. Hey, man. Jawsome and I. We have so many matters to discuss. Yes, many, many things. Oh, jeez. It's just gonna be me who has to tell Joshim that another investor is backing out. It's not my fault, all right? But there's no way I'm gonna tell him that. Hey, there she is. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Is that Hero up there? <laughs> Aubrey, we're gonna break you out. Dang it, Kel, go away. Can you see I'm busy? Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know, three people canceled their meetings today. Three people! I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's supposed to fit with all these useless events planned. Not to mention we have a fundraiser tonight. All these things, it's a tofu fundraiser. Who in the right mind would pay clams for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but he won't listen. It's a complete nightmare. Okay, Aubrey. I'm gonna need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Kel. I'm breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey. Deep breaths. <gasps> you are not a secretary. <laughs> Basil is missing and we need to find him. Oh my goodness, that's right. How could I forget? We have to find Basil. Oh, Amori, is that you? You must be here to save me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey, what about me? Amori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit's right there. Not that simple, Kel. We signed contracts, remember? Aubrey? Aubrey! Where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for these past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? S Sorry, Mr. Jossum, something came up. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Dang it, you again, Kel? I thought we sent you far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? I came all the way back to tell you, to tell you personally I quit. And I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel. Now. I'll send him right away. You do, Aubrey. Bzzzt. Dang it, Kel. You're gonna get me fired. I know, isn't it great? Ah, come on, let's go. Mr. Jossum's office is right up this elevator. Before we do that, I'm gonna end the episode here. Employee of the month. Wow. Kel, such an overachiever. Okay. I'm gonna end the episode here. We're gonna go save up in the elevator, and I'm guessing this is gonna be a boss fight as soon as I come back. Anyways... Let's head back all the way now. We're done here. Alrighty, guys. I decided to keep on continuing with Amori. I want this to be another four-hour episode. And since there's time to spare after I cut out a lot of the junk, you know I'm gonna keep on going, right? There's no way I'm not. I, I love this game. I've been loving it so much so far. And I, I can't wait to finish this thing. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Oh, uh, I, I, If you guys are, like, on episode four, I, I really appreciate it. It's really cool. Hey, I like this little jingle. Also, the uh, elevator wall looks nice. Man, uh, we're going up pretty high, but I've been enjoying this game so much. It has just been a nice just binge session for me. This is like one of the first games I've played in a while where I could... If I wasn't recording this, I would be able to sit down and play the entire game. Just one setting, no sleep. Stop that. Aw, <laughs> I like the, I like the little jingle. Alrighty, time for you to die. Yo! Okay, I respect the, I respect the outfit. You know, the attire, very businesslike. Hey man, loan shark boy. He's definitely a loan shark. That's not the joke that they're going for. I don't know what would be it. Ah, you're finally here. Hi, Mr. Jawsome. 
It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. Let me lay down. Let me lay this down for you. As the contract states here, yeah, you have agreed to work for me for the better or for worse without pay for the rest of your life. Wow, those are crappy contracts. <laughs> now, a contract is a promise. And you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Ah, oh, shoot, he's right. We can't break a promise. What do we do, Aubrey? We stab him. We stab him till he's dead. Mr. Jawsome, it's true that we did make a promise to you. But we also promised each other that we'd find our friend Basil together. Uh, yeah, that's right. That means you have to let us go. Oh, that is very true. A promise cancels out a promise. Hmm, I guess I can respect that. A promise is a promise. Aubrey, I'll let you leave. But you have to take Kel with you. Really? Wow, thank you, Mr. Jawsome. You're too kind. Awesome, let's go. Wow. Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah. Can we bring my brother Hero with us, too? <laughs> you are... You're really a funny kid, Kel. <laughs> you want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell ya. Hero is. Fins down. The best work I've fired in my life. His very presence increases my work output by 700%? I'd be a fool to let go of a worker like him. Damn. Hey, Hero. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Mr. Jawsome. I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The tables are set, the room is decorated, the toilets are clean, and the food tastes spectacular if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, fed your pets, organized your sunglass collection, and folded your laundry. Wow. Oh, and here's your coffee. Thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> you see, kids. Amazing work, Hero. Just amazing. I might even consider paying you one of these days. <laughs> really? That'd be an honor, sir. Oh, hey guys. What are you doing up here? Are you looking for a job too, Amori? Hero, what happened to you? Don't tell me that you even forgot about Basil. Oh shoot, that's right, we need to find Basil. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta go right away. Yeah. Whoa there, Hero, not so fast. You still got some unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher in all the our VIPs for the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jossum, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the Tofu fundraiser can write. Hmm. My feelings are hurt, Hero. You haven't forgotten about a contract, have you? Well, I... Er, forget about the contracts. Basil needs us. We have to go, Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Hero. Why would you? You didn't sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jawsome. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Yeah, you tell him, Hero. Measly piece of paper? You disrespect me, boy. I take you in, a youngin with no experience, and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You would be nothing if it wasn't for me. Oh no. Oh hey. The punishment for breaking a contract is your legs. Is death. Okay, a lot worse. I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Ooh, nice little battle sequence. Okay. Boys. Would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? This might be a little bit more difficult. I think we're gonna go for the gator guys first, just so we can take them out right now. Hopefully, uh, it's not that bad. I want these kids gone, you understand? The gator guy who runs them, get, runs them out gets free za? On me! Oh my. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit more of a... 
a little bit more challenging of a attack as we got to keep just pure damage on right now. So yeah, this might be a little bit. What do you mean? We're l running low on henchmen. That's impossible. Oh wow, we're actually supposed to degrade them of uh, henchmen. We're just kind of hitting them like really hard right now. So I guess that works too. Oh wow, we did a thumbs up. Oh my, that was a lot of damage. You let yourselves be foiled by a bunch of children. What did I even hire you for? Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, that was a lot easier than the uh, princess fight. We got contract. Everyone leveled up too. Cool. That's enough. Stand down, men. We're getting nowhere like this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See you freaking later, losers. Huh. I gotta admit, you kids are pretty strong. But that doesn't matter now. Hero isn't the only ultimate employee in my workforce. I have. But one other. Is it Burly? You can come in now. Pl Pluto. Pluto? Pluto, it's me, Gal. Don't you recognize us? We're your friends. Sorry, Gal. This is nothing personal. Just business. No! Let's see how you do. Against the strength of a former planet, Pluto. Show these kids your power. Right away, sir. Pluto! I'm sorry, everyone. This is the end of the road for you. <gasps> is he gonna pick us? Nope. We're actually fighting him. Oh, no. Pluto, why? Why, Pluto? You were the only one that I trusted, man. The only one. Wait. He just killed the crocodile, dude, I think. He just disappeared from existence. Oh, no, we're definitely fighting him. Oh, no. Pluto. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at his muscles. Oh, we're dead. Behold, this is my final form. Can you feel the heat? No! <laughs> I'm sorry, Pluto. Oh, no, this is terrible. Oh, no, man. This is not good. We gotta do this, though. We gotta do this. Impressive progress, young gal. Your flex has improved greatly. Oh, man. Dude, we, we can't beat him. Look at how much damage got dealt to Aubrey. And we lowered that with a smile, dude. Oh, man. This is terrible. <gasps> what do we do? We just have to keep on trying, I guess. We got this, team. Ah, I see. You've all gotten stronger, but so have I. Oh no, <laughs> not the pecs, man! Oh, This is pretty difficult, man. Oh, jeez. We need more ramen! <laughs> God dang, dude, we should have bought more stuff. Okay. We got this. We got this. We? Got this. Oh my god, he just picked up the earth and slammed it to us. <sighs> yeah, that just destroyed him. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh no, dude. We are so close as well. But we must continue hustling, my dudes. We have to. We got jam packets. I would like to actually save those. We're, we're gonna try and save off on it. We got this, boys. Don't worry. Ah! We did it! <gasps> it was just Amori. We went through so much resources. His earth smashes and cr crazy. Ah, uh, yes. 
Well done, children. Actually, it's child. I stabbed you all myself. You've come a long way, but I'm not fit. Oh my god, I, th I thought when he said he wasn't finished, he wasn't, like, done fighting, and I was about to cry. Literally, Amori just clutched that hard. He's the only one that leveled up, actually. Oh, man, that was an insane fight. What the heck? We went through so much. We all really got stronger. I'm so proud of you. But even still, I have a job to do, and I plan on finishing it. Brace yourselves, children. This is the definition of power. When I flex. Oh my god, please. I feel my best. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, all right, all right. Break it up, break it up. Ah, <sighs> cool it, Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee today. I don't want to lose two. Yeah, I'd stab you. But sir, but sir, I can defeat them. Just give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't ri risking any more assets today. You, you just trying to kill us, man. Pluto, I thought you were cool. <laughs> when I flex, I feel my best. Just get out of here. You've all been nothing but a pain in my tail anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just try to kill us, man. That's... There's really nothing I can do to get you to stay, huh? It's a pity. You could have reached your true potential here. Mr. Jawsome, before we go, I just want to say that... Even after kidnapping all my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. Arrow, this might come as a surprise to you, but... I always thought of you as a son I never had. I know you'll do great things out there. Now get lost already! Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jawsome. Alright, everyone. Now that we're all together again, we can continue our search for Basil. It's been a long journey, but I just know that we'll find him. And as long as we don't give up. You're right, Hero. We're almost at the finish line. I can feel it. Wait for us, Basil. We'll find you in no time at all. <laughs> now that's the dedication I like to see. Go get him, you crazy kids. Yeah, just ignore the fact that we try to kill each other. Yeah, sure. See you later, man. See you never. All right, before I forget, Amori, take this. It's Mr. Jawsome gave it to me so I could get around Last Resort faster. VIP keycard, wow. There. Now all the elevators should run faster. Just a warning, though. Sometimes it gets bumpy. Ooh, I like bumpy. Let's go save real quick. That Pluto fight was insane. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad I didn't die there. I actually have never died yet in this game. So that's pretty cool that we were able to just barely get by that. We used a lot of consumables, so <laughs> it's a good thing we uh, saved up on them. See how oh man, it is bumpy. We're already here? Oh my, that is fast. Hey, they got a new replacement. Hi, I'm Mira, I'm new here. Welcome, Mira. Okay, let's keep on going. Hey, Mari, we got everyone back. We should probably use some seafood as well. That was a really rough boss fight, and I'm glad we were able to get out of it. All right, here we go. Okay, let's head to the first floor. I might also buy some more consumables, because honestly, those saved our life there. At least, it really didn't, because it was all more at the end. But actually, yes, those consumables, consumables did save my life. We're going to buy a bunch of those. Woohoo! The gang's back! High five, everyone! <laughs> so, does anyone remember how we ended up here? You know, I had the strangest dream. There we were, all of us falling down an endless black hole. And then, next thing I know, I'm signing my life away through a contract. You know what they say, it sure is strange where life takes you. So where are we going again? Are we looking for Basil or something, right? Yeah, that's right, Kel. We're looking for Basil. Hmm. 
think Basil could be somewhere in the last resort? No way! Basil would be called dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who enjoy things like these? I don't know, does he? Why don't we just look around, go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking, Kel. Though I guess we're pretty far away from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Why don't we draw a picture of him? Maybe people will be able to recognize him from the drawing. You two are full of, good, full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. <laughs> uh, um, what is that? That looks nothing like Basil. Basil's hair is more like this. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Hmm, no wait. That doesn't look right either. Hey, what are you doing to my masterpiece? And why did Basil have such a big nose? Alrighty, let's see how we're doing. Yeesh. Is that really what Basil looks like? Ah, I can't look. Hero put the bad drawing in your pocket. Ah, well that didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Hmm. Why don't we start searching around the deep well? We can get there pretty easily by taxi. It's always one in the front of the last resort. Good idea. I want to see this bad drawing. I really want to see this bad drawing. Oh, where is it at? Come on. Bad drawing. Who or what is that supposed to be? <laughs> mm, muy bien. Muy bien. That is absolutely... Beautiful. Okay, hey. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, mailbox. Hey, you kids. Might I interest you in this pool noodle? It may look unassuming, but it has potential to be a very powerful weapon. Even knowing this. 5,000 clams. Ah! We'll get it. Excellent. Please take very good care of it. You got a pool noodle. Is that good? <laughs> I sure hope it is. Why did I buy this? Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> oh man, I just spent 5,000 buckaroonies on that, dude. Hey. Oh man, eh, whatever. We'll go buy some... Couple of these. Yep, a couple of those. We'll buy three of these. Yep. Um... We'll buy like two of these. Nice. And then we will get 10 juice plus blank. Now nah, we'll be alright. We'll buy like 60% uh, of juice. Five of these. Yes. Okay. And we're going to go sell all of our old, old stuff because we have a lot of this junk right now. Okay, I think we're ready to head out. We got some goodies on us. I don't know what else we could get right now that would make everything a lot better, so I think we're good. Thank you kindly. So we're sitting on around a thousand clams, which should be enough for right now. Let's go hop on that taxi and get the heck out of this place. Alrighty. <laughs> Need to lift back to the deep well? Anything for the boss's right hand man? Yeah, 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 let's go. Alrighty. Somewhere around- Oh, we can go by here now. Hey. You really have three friends? <laughs> Alright, let's get a move on, people. Yay. There we go. Okay, now this makes sense. Ah, there's an S. We actually do need an S. That is very nice, actually. Underwater Highway. Oh, man. I like this place a lot. Okay. Let's get going. Oh. A station for Pluto, Pluto's space line. Do you want to wait here for Pluto? Nah, I'm good. Pluto's a bit of a... He's a bit of a jerk. Oh, hey. It's, um... Is that the Ultra fan, or is that her herself? Hey. Isn't that... Sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Huh. Married life is a joke. I ended relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. 
Wow. <laughs> Immediately divorce. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no. Does that mean you and Space Husband are... <laughs> He's Space Ex-Husband for it now for all I care. Ouch, that poor guy. Alas, my journey has come full circle. It is more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for suitors is much too old-fashioned for me. I decided I'll simply just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means, no. But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going to place some filthy- oh, place only filthy rich people like myself can afford to a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodle-doo, peasants! I'm late for- I'm late for my appointment. See you later. Crazy bozo. So, should we follow her? Or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in the league of her own. Hey, we can cut these traffic cones. Haha, <laughs> eat that, you big baby. Ooh. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Okay. I want to check this up here, though. I guess we'll switch over now. It's good that we have the gang here. You know, that's nice. Pineapple juice. Yeah, we actually do need these items. That is a very good point, to be honest. Oh, man. I, I was expecting... Oh, dang it. Okay, we'll have to take him out. Alrighty, we were able to get that out of the way real quick. I don't see anything of use here right now other than this right here. Pineapple juice. Nice. Oh, those, uh... Those ferrets actually move around, huh? That's pretty nice. Just... Yep, don't mind me. Okay, what's in here? Watermelon juice. Nice. I want that clam, actually. I will take that clam. One clam. Oh, he got me. He got me good. Oh, that isn't a ferret, that's a freaking arm. Okay. What's in this one? Pineapple juice, nice. Oh, another joke for a joke book. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. I am actually going to make that swamp girl, like, die. <laughs> die internally, more than she already is. Oh, man, that's not going to be good for her psyche. But whatever, at least, uh, you know, I'm having fun. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll switch over to Aubrey real quick. Wow, there's actually a whole bunch over here. Okay, let's get this melon over here. Yep, just ignore you for as much as we can. Nice! These mussels are actually pretty expensive, I'd say. Almost 700 clams just from that. This better be worth it. A shucker! What is that? Hey, we got a new weapon for a uh, hero here. Nice. Good for opening muscles. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, I think everyone is just about ready. Let's get going. I want to go check out this other spot before I do anything else. Let's see what's over here now. Yeah. Blueprints for a two-story house. Drum set. But um, Nice. Who's in here? Oh. Very nice. Inner tube. That sounds like a weapon for Aubrey. Nope. Okay. What is it then? Maybe it's for a... Uh... Ooh. Defense increases with more energy. That'd be nice for her. Okay. Nice. We'll also give the... Uh, actually, no. Cal already has a nice trinket. Yeah, I think he deserves something about something be a lot better. And I think the Vedora is going to be what it takes. Cool beans. I think we're just about ready. Get some more... Toilet Haramen. Stolen furniture, miscellaneous items. I don't really want to do a fight, so we're going to ignore him. Okay, let's go down the road now. Hey there, alligator. Hey there, good chumps. Pleasure to meet you. So you kids want to access the toll road? Well, sure. But while we're at it, let's make this a little fun. Why did you spin this wheel for me? No. No, oh, that's a shame. If you don't spin, you can't win. Colorful. Fine, I'll do it. Ah, uh, gotta be a yes, man. We're going to get something bad, I feel. Yeah, I'll spin it. Come on. 650 clams? That's someone's lucky number. Also, it's going to be the price of your toll. Yeah, I'll pay up. How's one more spin for good measure? No, I'm good. That's a shame. If you don't spin, you can't win. 
Wait. Oh, I have to do it again? 650 clams. Yes, I got them. I was one more spin. No, I don't want a good spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me in. Let me through. Oh, <laughs> yes, I got him. He's okay. Fine. One more spin. Excellent spin, buddy. 1,300. That sound good to you? Yes. Now, hold on one second here. The numbers aren't adding up. You're going to have to spin again. Uh, <laughs> yes. Just let me go through. What kind of extortion is this? Oh, I hate this guy. I hate him a lot. Little boo. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, buddy, we got another 300 clams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Yes, I got him. Now, hold on. <laughs> Please. I just want to go through, man. Ooh, we have a winner. Yes. I'll go. Get more clams. Ah. We're going over and we're beating this guy up. Oh, just you wait, buddy. Clam friend. Hey, what's up? You want to fight? Yeah, we're fighting. Bring it on. You chump. Hey, we got a new uh, level for Aubrey and Hero. Nice. Anything on the seat? No, there wasn't. Okay. We should have enough money now. Man, this was a bit of a bummer. <laughs> I'll be honest here. Wow, we just got robbed of our money. Okay. Well, it kind of makes me want to wish I spent something a little bit more, but it might have just been a static amount. Anyways, we got a new, um... We got a new thing. All heroes target hero for one turn. Okay, that's better than charm. Wait, how is that better than charm? A foe. All foes. Okay, that'll be pretty nice, actually. It can be the... You can be tank. Cool. Okay. Let's hope this is enough money, or else we're gonna have a bit of a problem with the, uh, guy up over here. Two, six, five, four. Yeah, pay it. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Nice doing business with you, suckers. I would stab you with my knife if I could. Alright, uh, you talk to a psychopath like that, and you don't expect that to happen. Loading mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Very nice. Okay, let's just keep her going. Hey, man. I'm all out of tuna. Very nice, man. <laughs> Very nice. Hello. Anyone in the fish head here? Oh. Hey, man. Catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine. Past this time is moderately rewarding. Coolio. Wait, how would you... Isn't that pretty messed up to be catching fish when you are a fish yourself? That's like me catching humans. Yes, there's like, uh, kidnapping and all that. Hey, shiny telescope. Do you want to check out the view? Yes, I do. Oh, man. I think this is actually the image. Such a nice little area. I'm expecting there to be a jump scare through one of these telescopes, but honestly, there hasn't been, which I'm pretty happy about. No, please, not another doll. <laughs> so you want me to open the gate, huh? It'd be my pleasure. 2,000 clams. Real tough luck, I tell you, but hey, no need to get down. I got a surefire way to get you out of this ordeal, see? You just need to sign these papers, these papers, and these papers, and lo and behold, you'll have 2,000 clams just like that. I don't trust those papers. I don't trust them for the life of me. I'd rather just go work for my money. Hey, are you here because you didn't want to pay the toll? You're the third group I've seen this week. Going all this way is kind of inconvenient, but at least you can get to hold on to those sweet, sweet clams. You want to pay the last toll, though. Trust me. We don't have money! We spent it all years ago! Years ago! Hey, what is this? Caw, oh, musical clams and training. Please show them your support. I'm good. I don't want to listen to any wacky music right now. I just want to find more money. Because obviously, money is where we make money. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't. Ooh, we got some dynamite. Don't look at me, I'm idiots. Oh man, you are. Oh man. Feel bad for the mother that raised you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a bit rude of me, but it is very true still. Hey, I mean, actually, we might be able to get a lot of money just from here, and we don't even have to worry about, uh, you know, exorbitant fees. As long as we keep on getting fish tacos like this, we'll be golden and in the clear. A whole pizza, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Yeah, there's actually a lot of items in this cave. We got a rain cloud. Okay, that's really good. That is actually super duper good. Especially for Amori. 
Hey, can we take some of these gemstones? Gold watch. Hey, that's 500 buckaroonies right there. I'll take it. Okay. Well, I guess that little detour is pretty nice. Oh, wow. This is a pretty big detour here, huh? Hey! Oh, oh, wow, look at you, showing off. Wow. And we gotta go through this manually. Okay, I see how it is. No, 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 I totally see how it is. It's just gonna have us working. Uh, actually, non-working. We are out of employment, actually. So, uh, it just fly right over us, huh? Well, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll beat you to it then, buddy. No problem whatsoever. Okay, we got all of the items here. I think it's about time we head back. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit of a go as well, but I think we'll get through it. Hey, yo, we made it out of here. We actually came back with a pretty nice haul of almost 2,000. We could also sell some of the goodies that we got, like the gold watch. Oh, no, we got another one. Hey! I didn't see this entire place here. Okay, we'll just backtrack. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that, you loser. Wait, what do you mean? So you want me to open the gate, huh? Pfft, I'm already past it, you dummy. No need to get down. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting me to sign them papers. We're going to be back fighting Pluto. Get out of here. Man, I hate these crooks. Makes me feel a whole lot less bad about uh, killing them. Bah, I left my smoke sticks at home again. It'd be like that sometimes. Ah, oh, this is nice. <laughs> That's uh, Space X husband. That's nice. We'll go dine with our buddies. No save point yet, which is kind of scary. Okay. That was nice. That Oh, that did heal us up. Cool beans. To all those lost, lost lovers out there, this one is for you. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. Can't catch a break. Welcome to Mustard Sub. May I take your order? Yes. Oh. Cheeseburger. Contains all food. Uh, we'll hold off on a lot of this. We don't need it right now, I'd say. I, I would like to just keep on cruising on by. Hey, look at you guys. I donate to charity. Be kind to others. Love yourself. <laughs> Wholesome bikers. Respect your community. All natural sea, gal sea cow farms. Huh. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are enemies. Yeah, we're going to run. Nope, nope, nope. We're out of here. We're out of here. I'm done fighting. Unless, let's go check the barn. Hey there. Uh, moo. Very nice. <laughs> What's in here? Hey. Ooh, is that milk? Oh, yes. A bucket of fresh. Uh, I don't really need milk. Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as a sea cow farmer, but you can just call me Jim. This farm's been a family business that's been going on for generations, but the upkeep eat so easy with the land being overrun by squizzards and all. I tell you what, if all those dang squizzards running around... Oh, it's it, it's a miracle this farm is still standing. If only there was somebody to help me get rid of those darn squid squizzards, I'll pay it, I'd pay anything. Hey, you know what? I had a brilliant idea. If y'all don't mind getting some of, uh, slimy, stinky squizzards... I'll be happy to employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. Can't have no bees around here with all those darn squizzards running around. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, if I can't afford this next toll, uh, I will be the first man coming up against you. But, oh man, they're 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 locking in on me. They are zoning in. Hey, uh, you got a squizzard problem out here. Okay, watch this. Woo! Ultra instinct, out of here. I'll see how much the next uh, toll is, and then I'll see if I want to... Hey. Abandoned site. Toll ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money are we talking here? He's just sleeping. Huh? Where am I? Oh, crap. Boss, I wasn't sleeping. I was just... Oh, you were just a bunch of kids. You want me to open the gate? These toll prices are jacked. It's gonna cost you 3,000 clams, but I'd find another way around if I were you. Still want me to open the gate? Nah. He's such a nice guy, dude. Save your money for a nice bike or something. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Okay, there's no way to go on that. We're gonna have to pay for it. Unless I miss something. You know what? We're gonna double check. I don't want to pay this toll. I really don't, man. Oh, there totally was an exit here. Well, cool. That helps quite a bit. Hey, Mari. Some raw seafood. Would you like to eat some? Heck yeah, I would. How you doing? You and your friends feel like new. 
Hey, Amori. It looks like we've reached the end of the road. Literally. Looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, whatever you do, don't look down. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been cheated, bamboozled, all types of jazz. Oh, wow. That is pretty beautiful. I want to go check out the southern area before I decide to go full in, though. I don't even know why I'm grabbing these clams when there's only one clam each. Oh, there's actually multiple. This is the end of the highway. Hello? This is the end of the highway. That's pretty scary looking, dude. <laughs> As, oh, there's some stuff over here. And the S key that I wanted. That is actually going to be nice to have. Yoink that real quick. Almost missed it if I would have just kept on going. So it's a good thing I did backtrack. Two keys left. There's a hole here. Look into the hole? Sure. Oh my. That's a little bit... Okay, okay, hey! Tentacles poking out of the ground. A lot of those guys around here. Okay. This is it, boys. This is... Uh, we head down over here. Good luck, Mari. Good luck. Ah, uh, I see why they wanted me to pay for the last toll, because he could have missed it. Okay, that makes sense. A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Not yet. I want to check out my, uh... All we need is a W. That's all we need right now, and we will complete it. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Welcome to Black Space. Oh, we need a T and a W, actually. Never mind. A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. Are we going to finally leave the water level? Or is this just the beginning? Who knows? Hey, this is nice. <laughs> I like the fluorescent, like, lighting kind of deal. Oh, yeah, this is real nice. Hey. Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would really like it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah. I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey. I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle, and even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. Yeah, it's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have Amori to keep us on track. All this time, Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then we're together. When then we're all together. Then we should give him a big old hug. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Huh? Me and Cal get get along? What are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We're all together. We'll, we'll, we'll all be together soon. Into the hole. Oh, pizza zone. Some za. Ah, oh, this is really trippy. Okay, we can't fall off the waterfall. That's probably a good thing. Hey, what are you? Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded, and yet, all memories will ev eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed the curse of Deeper Well. Oh, no. So our memory changes the longer we stay in here. Okay, we ought to be quick on this then, quick on our feet here. We'll be all right. We can get through this in a real quick jiffy. Right? Right. Who's this? 
The sun shined brighter when she was here. When who was here? Who, what, when, where, why? Oh, we're in water. We finally learned how to swim at the very least. I don't really like these uh, floor patterns too much with the hands sticking out of them. That's kind of, uh, yeah, not cool. Reminds me of the hands actually in the white space. I wonder what the black space looks like. Be pretty cool to see if we do see that. That might be something we'll see very soon. What's over here? Some more stuff? Ah. Oh, we can actually get up on land. Okay. Well, I don't want to linger here too long, so might as well make... Ooh, what is this? I really like this spot. I like it a lot, actually. Man, we have a lot to go through, huh? Ooh, mama. Yep, this is just another day. Also, I really regret taking that noodle. Without that pool noodle, we could, we could have so much money right now. I know a lot of it got extorted, but honestly, the pool noodle is pretty crappy. It's completely useless. Who invented this anyways? Like, look at how much it drops everything. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we'll continue upwards. Are you guys enemies? No, they're like cats. An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, dreamer? What will you do? Uh, hopefully the right thing. Just continue heading up into here. No save point for a while. That's a little bit worrying. Hello? Ah, save point. Probably a boss battle coming up. We need to be ready, boys. We need to be ready for this one. Hey, this ain't looking like a boss battle. Well, hello there, friends. Name's Humphrey. What brings you to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all. Children, I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl, a very loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh, is, is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she, where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. Nope, <laughs> nope, that's a joke. It is, she's inside me, you see? Uh, she's inside you? Why, yes. She's just visiting my guests, for I am a home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It's so much fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes, they're even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. Uh, my apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Um, uh, I don't want to go in there. Blah. Okay, guess we're going in. Bunch of idiots. Probably gonna eat us. I don't. I don't want to be in someone's. Oh, this is cursed. It's just named Humphrey. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a nice little boat here. Whoa! Humphrey's belly is huge! It sure looks easy to get lost in here. If I... I bet if I'd yell, it'd make an echo. Echo! 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 Ah! Where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I'm always here. I'm inside me and all around you. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Or I'm just here. Whoa, that's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hmm, there are many ways to go. I should, where should we even start? Left, right, up, around, does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one, it's easy. Okay, Humphrey. Whatever you say, man. What's up here? Got like some trap doors here? They're locked. I don't like this place at all. Being inside of a whale is a little bit worrying, to be honest. We got our cool little boat here. It's very nice. It's a nice little boat ride. This is so cursed. I don't like this at all. Hey, what is this? Oh, teleporter. Cool. 
There's a big tube up here, kind of like from Willy Wonka at the Chocolate Factory. Oh. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something special for you today. As you know, I'm a very busy person, but alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room if you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling, if you're still alive, that is. What? Uh, hello? Jay, he popped in just as I was in the middle of fixing up this tube. It's all Humphrey. Type, puzzle, theme, memorization, difficulty, hard. Uh, oh, Mari's here. Hey. Now, Amori, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It may be the recommended... It may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like forests or campsites. But where's the fun in that? What if I wanted to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, Amori. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. It's all a little bit too weird for me, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Okay, I'm guessing this is like a memorization puzzle. Is it like red light, green light? Oh, cool, the background changed. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Okay. A little bit weird up here. Move out of the way, Humphrey. I got a place to be. Under construction. What is this up here? Nothing. Uh, we can try a puzzle. Type puzzle, multiple choice, medium. Okay, which one is easy? I want easy puzzle. Pattern, easy. Yes, I would like to activate it. Okay, the blue teleporter activated. We're inside it right now. What is this? Lab work in progress. Oh, wow, this is a little bit weird. Hey, so if I multiply the result, subtract by infinity, then divide by zero, and carry the one, that would bring me to an imaginary number. Very nice. Where the heck are we, dude? Oh, my. I can't believe I signed up for this. What is going on here? Unfinished bag of potato chips. Hey. Hey there, visitors. I've been leading an experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey movement. You've come just in time to conduct our final test. Uh, buddy, you gonna be okay in there? Are you ready, gang? Let's do this just like we practice. Oh, my. Ew, this is a little weird, man. I don't like the amount of Humphreys here. Yes, this wasn't in my plans. Activate it, activate it, activate it. Type console, status broken. Oh, never mind. See you guys later. Number three, number four. Oh, man. Okay, I think we're gonna... Oh, nice teleporter in the back here. Okay, I think we're gonna go head up north. Unless this, one, this puzzle wants to activate. Oh, there we go. Go on, we believe in you. I suck with puzzles, I suck with puzzles. One. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I am completely lost on this thing. I give up. I give up. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore Puzzle Zone. Wait, out of order. Wait. Then how do I get back? Under construction, out of order. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're stuck here then, aren't we? Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, no, that's terrible. Hey there. Greetings, visitors. Would you like to see something cool? This machine here can perform remote teleportation. With the power of modern technology, I can send the sprout mold to the other side of the grid. Take a look. Let's check it out. Oh, what an error. Something must have messed with the program. It's probably Molly again. You always pull stunts like this. I really hope I don't have to depend on the puzzle for this, dude. That's a bit of a problem. Hey there. Hmm. Ugh. Err. Uh. Hmm. Eh? Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, I got an idea. On second thought, can one of you kids try running through these metal plates for me? I want to test something. Why don't you discuss it amongst yourselves and vote? Who should help Humphrey? Uh, sure I'll help. Okay, if you're sure, Amori, just be careful. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'll be fine. Okay, those are spikes. Those are spikes. This one's safe. Oh, man. A little bit deadly, huh? Aha, I knew one of these spikes was broken. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I'd sip it. Thanks for voluntarily risking your life. 
Well, I guess I gotta go fix it. Uh, you didn't give us anything for that? We just walked into spikes. Okay. Wait. Oh, he's going now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, wait. Did I activate it? Oh, oh my god, I just killed him. I just killed someone. I just killed someone. Uh, no one saw that, right? Hey. Hi, hello, visitors. After months of... <laughs> months upon months of hard work and toil, I've successfully created the first ever Humphrey hologram machine. Don't they look like the real thing? <laughs> I couldn't be more proud. We might actually have to do this puzzle, boys. I don't see any other way out of here. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, so we make a bucket. There we go. Hey, we did it! Okay. I'm glad I didn't linger too long on that. Alrighty. Now what else do we have to do? There's gonna be another one here. Alright. Alright, alright. There we go. Now we have two more to go. Type puzzle, memorization, difficulty, hard. Activate the puzzle. Uh, what about the next, this one? I mean, we're gonna have to do them all, I think. Difficulty, medium. Yes, let's do this one. Medium, difficulty, puzzle. Should be easy enough. Okay, we got the green teleporter now. Let's go check out what's going on over here. We got the computer spawned in. Alrighty, I think we're ready. Oh, there's actually enemies here this time. Okay, uh, don't mind me. I'll equip my guy because we need a lot of traffic cones broke right now. Very nice of him to do this, actually. A mailbox. Nice. Is that a weapon? Maybe? Uh, mailbox. I think it might be. Who would use... Ah, uh, Aubrey would use a mailbox, right? Yeah, there we go. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we should be able to get this in the bag. Hey, it's these guys again. Work your magic, hero. <laughs> Greetings, sir, conveyor bot. My companions and I require your, your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Would, will you and your friends please aid us? Bzz. Hmm. Nice person. Get lost. Huh. That's strange. That worked so well before. Don't be so down, Nero. He's probably just got his gears all mixed up or something. Could you say that any louder? Now he's gonna get even more mad at us. Hey, Scrap Heap. You'll turn these belts around for us, won't you? Bzzzt, ah, mmm, rude person, <laughs> just like Molly. Cool. Don't know who Molly is, but, uh, I can't believe that worked. Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm pretty good at this charm thing, too. Nice one. Okay, let's avoid those, uh, oh. Oh, well, this is new. Water Mimic. Okay, that's very new, actually, huh? Pretty cool stuff, I'll be honest here. Okay, let's do this. Nice, we were able to do it. You're victorious, 6,000 XP, 400 clams, watermelon juice. Nice, can't catch me. Enchant. Alright, we're getting a whole lot of new skills here. Let's go check out can't catch me. Uh, let's see here. We'll probably take out megaphone right now. Can't catch me. Attracts attention and reduces all foes hit rate. Oh, that's good. That's actually really good. Yeah, that's that's great actually. Okay, let's go check out captive, uh, not captivate. Enchant. A foe targets hero for one turn and becomes happy. Nah, it's not as good. We'll continue. Actually, that might be really nice with a Mori. Yeah, no, no, that'll be great with a Mori and his stab ability. So we will actually equip that on hero. We'll take out Smile and then use uh, Enchant. There we go. It's pretty cheap and it's pretty nice, all things considered. Anything in these boxes? Oh, looks like a job for Aubrey. Okay. Is it one of the ones we need? Smash it. Nice. Okay, we gotta make sure it's one of the ones we actually need. I can't tell what that is. Oh, we're... Oh, we did not need that. Oh, mama. That's a little bit scary. How bad that hurt me. Yeah, that was not good to grab. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Okay. We still have our legs. So, we need a W and T for sure. Okay, no problems. I actually don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. You got homework. Oh, that's kind of boring. Okay, whatever. Guess that works for us. Hey, oh, no! 
Hey, okay, we actually got a really good one. Um, we can replace the cat ears with homework because that starts him off sad, which almost immediately allows him to go right into sadness mode, which is going to be great for the stab move. That's good. That is actually really dang good. Okay, I'm really happy I got that. Nice. Homework for the win, making children depressed. <laughs> I'm guessing we need to reverse this as well. Yeah, we totally do. Oh, wow, this... Hey! Hey, look, this camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Aw, oh, we look so cute. <laughs> Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Ah, don't worry. We'll have loads of pictures, don't... Oh, wait. We have pictures of us? Where? But... Only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Kel? Something special about everyone living their own lives. Um... You're being kind of weird. Huh? Hmm. Nah, never mind. It's probably nothing. Let's keep moving forward. We gotta figure out the solution to these puzzles. That bomb could blow any second. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, that's a bomb. Okay, I thought that was just like a cool little gizmo. That makes sense, actually. Okay. Let's get through these dang traffic cones now. Nice. Reverse that, and we're gonna be cooking with gas now. Okay, cool. I don't exactly know what this puzzle wants me to do just yet, so that's a bit of a problem, but hey, we're starting to get this. There we go, now we are cooking. Alrighty. Yeah, I honestly don't know what it wants us to do with this right now. Oh no, I probably should have went through the teleporter, huh? Well, uh, too late for that. <laughs> See you later. Hey guys, what's going on here? Oh, please don't tell me we're going to get sent all the way back. Oh, what is this? Doink this? Nope, we can't. Okay. Green? At least I think it was in this order. Green zero. That girl loves to play games too much. If she would just focus, she could probably do so much good for the world. It's a good thing I checked before writing this M, or else I would have thought it was written another B. That would have been pretty bad, huh? Oh man, we're doing a weird voice room. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to switch places with the one on your right. And when I say you're right, I mean you as in the person standing in front of me. Not some hypothetical obser observer watching us from behind a screen. Oh wait, oh jeez, that's... Okay, okay, okay. We need to, uh... I'm gonna write these down, actually. We will get through this in no time. You wanna input the password? Yes. Boob. <laughs> I love Molly. Boom. There we go. Yay! One more puzzle. Uno mas. And then we are done. Bring it on. I want to see your toughest puzzle right now. Right here. Alrighty. Red is the last one. Memorization, difficulty hard. Little do you know, I have the power of a pen and pencil. Even though I really didn't need the one for the other guy. That was actually pretty easy to put together. <laughs> okay. We got this. Oh, do we got this? Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll try our best at it. I'm sure it won't be that much of a problem. We'll go save real quick, though. Hey, Mari. Don't know how you really get into these situations by yourself, but I guess that's another benefit of, uh, you know, not being a part of this mortal realm. I guess no one is really part of this mortal realm right now. Okay. One is, uh... Oh, that's a little bit weird. Uh... Okay, so one, two, and three. Is that it? Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I think, oh, wow, that is weird. Okay. So, let's see here. Two, three. We need to go on this side, maybe? No, okay, so it's obvious we have to go through them in a certain order then, right? Yeah, okay, okay, I see what it is now. Okay, I think I got it. It's blue, green, red, white. Okay, what I figured out is that the waterfall in the background is what we actually needed to, uh, like, calculate it. So I just went through it again and I counted all of the, uh, colors. Blue, green, red, and white. Okay, this was a lot easier than I was expecting. I like simple puzzles. Thank you. I thought because it said difficulty hard we'd be here for a while. But no, we got it. Okay. Uh, what's, what's next? Or is the bomb completely diffused now? Hopefully it is. Cool beans! See you later, Humphrey. 
Or I guess whoever you are. Something else. Hey, cool. We got the teleporter. All right, let's go check this out. Oh, there's, there's, there she is. Okay. How long is this going to take? I don't have all day. Oh, they're going to make him a robot? My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished? At last? Oh, let's see it. My greatest invention is complete! <laughs> it's just a robot version of herself. Now speak. Speak, my beautiful robot. <laughs> uh, robo hearts. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. Something must be off with the code. Because he made me rush my work. Instead of to love, and it must now be programmed to kill. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. Don't blame this on me. She's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of finding true love have been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. Well, she's not my problem now. <laughs> Must kill. Oh my. Ah, I almost forgot that girl. She owes me payment. I must catch her again before she leaves. Okay. A little bit. Oh, wow. Hey, there we go. Okay, now it makes sense. Alrighty, let's go get the next area out of the way. Ugh, this, uh, this zone has a lot of ASMR that I don't really like. It's very wet, sloppy, gooey. All this, like, I mean, this is literally his, uh, stomach acid, right? So if we were to jump in here, we would actually, uh, be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Good thing we aren't. Uh, those are gas bubbles. Those, that's actually disgusting. We'll just ignore that for now. We don't really need to fight it. We'll try to avoid fighting as long as we can. Okay, we made it. Let's go check the melon. Fish taco. Nice. Hey. Hey, check this out, humans. Did you know Humphreys are strong enough to withstand a waterfall's current? Watch this. Yep. Yikes. Except for that guy, I guess. Oh, well, that's just natural selection working. Hey. You know what? I just had an idea. I bet if we gather enough Humphreys... Then maybe we could use him to form a bridge to the other side. Hey, I was supposed to say that. Okay, that's pretty simple. Just grab all the Humphreys. How many do we got here? We can cut this pretty easy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Humphrey, do you want to join your friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Of course I will. I thought you'd never ask. Okay, might be pretty easy getting these guys. I guess. Hey, Medusa treats us well and feeds us regularly. You can't say the same about Marina or Holly. Or Molly. Uh, oh, this is a job for Cal here. To be honest, I think I might end the episode here. We've been going for quite a while, and I think this would be a good spot to end it. Okay, let's go put away our last Humphrey, and we shall continue as is. I feel like we're getting close. Okay, so just a little bit more. Alrighty, time to find the rest of these life raft boys. So we should be able to do this pretty easy. At least that's the plan. Might take a little bit more, but we did clear this area up before, so it should be smooth sailing grabbing everyone. Hey, Humphrey, do you want a junior friend Humphrey? Sure. Okay, so they're going to go through the same thing, so we're going to go grab them all. Alrighty, we just got one that's over here, and the only place for us to go right now is up in this nice little doorway here. So we'll go check it out. Maybe we can find some more Humphreys. A lot of snot bubbles are running around, though. And they have, like, a really bad AoE as well. But we should be alright. We're all pretty decent condition. Wow, look at all these cool plants here! Hmm. Asol. Asol? That's the name of this plant here. Aw, it's so cute! Kinda reminds me of something. But, I can't remember what. Yeah, everyone's using their memories pretty quick, huh? Hey, science boy, would you like to join us on our adventure? We're just gonna keep on running. We're gonna run as far as we can get. Nigrindayo! <laughs> Watch your step. Some of the spilled liquids aren't meant to be touched by humans. Oh, well, we already stepped on those, didn't we? Hey, melon, some dynamite. What does dynamite do? Important 
No, it'd be toys. Ooh, dead computers? Oh, recycle machine actually gives quite a bit for that. Heavy damage to all foes. That sounds pretty nice, not gonna lie. Books filled with knowledge in a language you cannot read. You can tell Medusa's mad because she'll pace back and forth. She'll never yell at you, but still, it's pretty scary. Yes, where is that Medusa? But before we do that... Hello, Aubrey. I've got another face here. Man, this guy really makes his rounds, huh? You got jam packets. Nice. That's actually a lifesaver, so it's a good thing we did grab those. Whoop. Aw, oh, I thought we could juke him, but whatever. I mean, this basically gives us free XP, so I'm not too, uh... I'm not too mad about getting into a, a battle right now. Ah, yes, my greatest masterpiece, hun hun. Okay, very nice, dude. Hey, there's another Humphrey we need. Cool, Kel. You got this, man. We actually do need to heal up pretty soon. We are looking pretty beat up. There we go. Oh, dang it, we whiffed that completely. <laughs> It'd be funny if that Humphrey was actually, like, right in front of that stone throw, so we could just hit him in the head randomly. There we go. I think that's gonna be the last guy. Okay, I don't know where the heck Medusa is. I don't know if we're ever gonna see her. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all we need, hopefully. I guess we'll go check. Okay, we got the full bridge of Humphreys now. <laughs> awesome. Now we are in uncharted territory. Is this another mimic? Oh, cool, melon smoothie. Uh, we came across quite a few mimics recently, actually. So it's nice to actually get some real items once in a while. Let's continue heading up into the unknown. Oh, ow! Okay, we gotta watch out for falling food now. Humphrey's got a big stomach, man. How bad that hurt us? Ah, barely hurt at all. We'll be all right, so long as we can avoid the taco menace. Hey there, Humphrey. <laughs> He's just going fishing. Uh, what can you catch in stomach acid? Very good question indeed. Oh, see you later, buddy. Oh man, these uh, these uh, these bad boys are getting a little bit. Hey, buddy. You okay? He's just—is he floating? Huh. Kind of wish I knew that, but sadly I don't. Nice! Fun! <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that the guy who died um, at where Strawberry was? I think it was, but first things first. Let's get these guys. Man, there's actually... Hello? You guys good? I don't think they're good. Uh, what am I doing to them? I just turned him... Did I turn him to a grape? Okay. That's a little bit weird. Uh, I don't- I don't know if that's your constitution of fun. Game. It's game. Match three guys for a prize. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what we need to do. So you need to, like, match people up. Okay, well, they're already matched. I don't know. I honestly don't understand that, but that's okay. Hey, Humphreys. <laughs> oh, look at this little brainiac. I'm reading a book all about air conditioning. It's very informative. I'm calling your bluff. You can't fool me, me. You can't beat this my hand, me. I'm going all in. I'm trying to relax, but I can't stop thinking about this really interesting book about I read about air conditioning the other day. Huh. You know what I'm cr just crazy about? Air conditioning. Ain't it the greatest? It very much is. What a nice looking pool. Snaily, no! Snaily! That's acid! Snaily. No! That's the second time he's died, man. Give it a- give him a rest already. Oh, waterfall time. Oh, wow, check this out. Oh, wow, I don't like this. Hopefully we picked the right side. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's Humphrey. Look at that little guy go. Hey, get out of the way! Oh, I just- I'm murdering him now. Path of most Humphrey. Oh! Wait, we, we don't need this key. We don't need this key, do we? Let's see here. We need a W and T, so that is useless to us. Nice try, though. Now for a swim? Me too! Very nice, man. Very nice. What's going on over here, Humphrey number two? All my friends left me behind to go build a bridge, but I'm gonna show them by building an even bigger bridge. If you see any any Humphreys floating around, be sure to send them my way. Okay, we got another build your bridge. Let's do it. B build bridge to build. Humphrey, could you help please help us make a bridge? A bridge, you say? Yes, say yes. Yeah, I'm already there. Very nice, Humphrey. Okay, we can round up a few of these pretty easily, I hope. <sighs> I would really appreciate it 
you guys can wrap this up pretty soon. No rush. I just think I'm getting hurt. Kind of sick. But yeah, we're getting all these boys rounded up. We should be able to get a few more and we'll be all good. We just got to go down each individual path while going up all the way around. So it's kind of, um, kind of mind numbing, but we'll get it pretty soon. Okay, I think I got all of them. Let's go round them up now. Alrighty, look at this beautiful bridge made by the most classy of engineer. Okay. Oh, I like this spot. Hey there. All this slime is starting to become a real hazard. We should really start thinking about hiring one of them cleaning Humphrey from Molly's sector. Yeah, it's a little bit icky to be honest. Medusa and her sisters have been researching the world for centuries. These books are the fruits of her labor. Man, I have a really cool dream world. Ah, <sighs> listen to am having fun up there. Those part-timers got it easy. Hey, I'm coming up there. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, there's sweet, sweetheart again. My, it smells absolutely horrendous in here. How much longer is this gonna take? My nose is quite sensitive, you know. You'll get used to this smell. Now hush, doll. I am working. And it is done. Ugh, finally. Let's see it. Hello, my perfect suitor. Wake up. Don't touch the glass, you buffoon. You'll ruin the experiment. Well, I never. Oh, well, that looks pretty nice. Oh no, it's breaking out of containment. <laughs> oh, it made a little heart in the glass as well. That's a nice little touch. And it exploded. Oh, it just exploded. What happened? Oh my. Sweetheart is ascending. <laughs> I love how they instinctively step back. M my word. This experiment has turned out greater than I had even expected. Take a look, doll. These results are comp absolutely perfect. Behold, an absolutely perfect version of yourself. <laughs> it's too perfect. I don't want it. Oh man, get really giving the looks over. Oh. <laughs> hmm, I don't like her. What did you say? Have I heard you correctly? But she is everything you had asked for and more. Oh, you simpleton. There's nothing more perfect than me. But I see you do not understand that. You are nothing more than a hack. This was a humongous waste of my time. I'm storming off. Oh, I've had enough of your nonsense. Client or not, you've really struck my last nerve. Who taught you to run your mouth like that? No, if you'll excuse me. This is a waste of my precious energy. I have much more important matters to attend to. Don't you dare walk off first. I'm the one who's supposed to storm off. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Is that a cat in the middle one? Eh, don't matter to me. We got one more of these trapdoors and we will be free of Humphrey's curse. Hi, I'm Humphrey. You're all access passed to Humphrey, AKA Slime Girl's Lair. Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you humans call an elevator. Unfortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, so you have to wait your turn. Though, if you can find a slimy key card, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Neil, Neil, <laughs> Neil, Neil. All right, we'll uh, go up to the north one now. Ooh, this one's made of jelly. I like this one a whole lot more. Now this one, I can get behind, I think. There's a lot of cages here, actually, which is a little bit worrying. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Okay, Aubrey. Let's go check out this melon real quick. Uh, uh, life jam. Nice. I thought that hole there would do something. Boink. Oh, okay. I see what we need to do now. We need to boink him. Hey. Oh, we can't let him out? That's sad. Hello there. Intelligence growth. Will conveniently transform into a bridge after being smashed. There we go. Thank you, birdie. Such a nice... Wow. The state of these Humphreys is very top-notch, I'll be honest here. Welcome! Marine is not currently seeing anyone right now, but if you're enjoying the exhibit, feel free to call into a cage and wait for the next available experiment. You'll know when the screaming stops. I don't think I'll climb in one of them cages. Oh my. A box filled with... A box filled with goo. I am Marina's first experiment. She made me out of sand and fruit when she was just a baby. What would you like to do? Pet. You did a cartwheel. Nice. 
<laughs> oh, wow, well, these meat bridges are pretty weird, man. Oh, look at you. I'm Marina's second experiment. She made me out of clay and rocks when she was just a baby. What would you like to do? Ah, oh, I see what we need to do. Hmm, petting is cool, but I like handshakes better. Okay, then I'll poke you. You ungrateful swine. Poke. Hmm, poking is cool, but I like high fives better. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, we'll avoid you for now. Or not. We'll fight you then. Ah, uh, cool. We got a combo meal, and we also got a mimic on the other side. He blew up with a piece of dynamite, so we are hurt very bad. But we shall continue down the road of failed experiments and lab rats. I am Marina's third experiment. She made me out of a rubber glove when she was a toddler. What would you like to do? Poke. Whoop. <laughs> what? Who's there? Ah. <laughs> uh. You know, these experiments are cute right now, but I feel like they get a lot darker. Hey, Mari. Questionable Jelton? Always my favorite. Thank you, Mari. You know exactly what I need after a hard, long day of uh, stabbing random things with my knife that is very sharp. There we go. We were able to get past. We had to actually hit the bridge, like, midway, so that works. I'm Marina's forced ex experiment. She made me out of dirty apples when she was just a child. Uh... Pet. Pet the apple. Bzzz, boo. Yeah. Bzzz, mm, right behind the stem. Okay. We'll just... Oh, what are you? Fifth experiment. She made me out of cardboard and candy when she was just a child. What would you like to do? Uh, poke. Ooh, my candies. <laughs> hey, some nice computers here. Very nice. Okay, so I'm guessing we gotta whack this bridge back into shape. Bam. Nice. Okay, I didn't know you could actually hit the bridges after they were down, and that's what kind of stumped me for a little bit. A whole chicken! Nice! That's really good. Okay, we'll continue heading up. What are you? I'm Marina's sixth experiment. She made me out of balloons and magic when she was, a, when she was just a teenager. Poke. Uh... Goodbye, six experiments. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> oh no. Eh, I'm sure they'll be okay. Hey there, Mr. Mouse. I'm just gonna ignore you. Those mice actually hit like a truck, so. Basil? Hey, look, it's a flower crown. Oh no. All the flowers are bruised up. It looks kind of familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. You think we should try and return it to them? This flower crown is in pretty bad condition. I don't think anyone would want something like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Whoa! Kel, what did you do that for? It's fine. You heard what Hero said. No one would want that something as bruised up as that. But it used to belong to someone. Kicking it off a cliff is just mean. Huh? Why? I was a girl back anyway, don't they? Alright, calm down, you two. Kel, apologize to Aubrey. Fine. Sorry, Aubrey. Apology not accepted. <sighs> yeah, oh, that was kind of rude, man. Don't just kick stuff off like that. Uh, do we hit this? I don't even know what we do with this. Okay. See you freaking later. I don't really want to fight you all right now. I want to I want to get out of Humphrey as fast as possible. We might actually need a we we definitely might need a backtrack soon enough, but hey, we're we're getting it all right for right now. Hey, actually, it looks pretty good. Wow, there are a lot of hitting things here, huh? We're gonna be here a while, it seems like, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. Whoa, what is that? What is that? That's a weird-looking cat. Oh, man, this place is kind of morbid, to be honest. Alrighty. Well, let's continue up ahead. <laughs> uh, hey. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No. No. No, you stay right- Oh my god, it's out. It's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. It floats. Okay. Please leave me alone. <gasps> no, we died. Oh my- Yo, what the hell is this? Okay. Okay, cat does not fool around. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, bring it on, you stupid cat-looking thing. Wait, those that just turned off the lights. That's not cool. Okay, come on. Come on, follow me up here. Okay. 
Oh, dude, this is bad. Okay, get him all the way over here. Move, 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 move. Hit it. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're making pretty good progress. Smash that as well. Oh, that's a key. That's a key. That's a key. That's a key. Ah! Okay. We need tea. We need that. We need that tea. Oh my, this is terrible, dude. Okay, we can kind of game this. It ain't that bad. Okay, it's actually pretty bad. Oh no, dude, what do I- Wait, did it grab something? I don't even care. Give me this. Go faster, please! I really hope it paused. Please pause. Okay, we're good. Move! Ah. Ay ay ay, dude, why? Oh, this is this is terrible. This right here, this is it. Okay, we gotta do this. Okay, we're out of here. We're out of here. We left some items, but I don't really care about those. We need to leave right now. That thing killed me so many times. The good thing is that the key actually saved over. Help, please, help someone. Please. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh. Yeah. Hot dog coming to the rescue. Let's go. Oh. We got a hot dog. Nice. <laughs> oh. We made it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. This place is disgusting. What exactly is that you do here? That's not your business, lady. Just sit back and relax. Oh. I feel nauseous. Oh my. Is it Frankenheart? <laughs> uh, uh, oops. Well, that'll do, I guess. Alright, it's done. Here you go, lady. One perfect suitor coming right up. Uh, say hello to your new soulmate. Uh, Hannah. Is this some kind of joke? What do you take me for? I am ten times, no, a hundred times more beautiful than this thing. You're disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. Hey, what the heck? You can't just storm off, lady. Where's my money? Hey, slimy geek guard. Let's go. Okay, can we get out of here now? Hey. Oh. Hmm. My, my. What's with all this commotion? There must be some fun activities going downstairs. Uh, yeah, about that. Can we go down? Yeah, we'll, gi we'll give it. Ooh, a slimy key card. Yum, yum. So, did you want to go downstairs now? Well, sure. I'll head downstairs for a hot second. I'm sure it won't be that bad. <laughs> oh, Mari's not here. It's just some gelatin. Oh, wow, we, we got destroyed. Yes, I would like to eat some questionable gelatin. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Unifriends friends feel like new. Nice. Picking basket, would you like to save? Yes, I totally would. Save right over here. Okay. We got this. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Kind of spooky. There might be a boss battle coming up. Yeah. Guessing because of the save file, actually. That'd make a lot of sense. Oh, it's just Sweetheart. And the three of them. Stop right there. You can't leave just yet, doll. We want our payment, darling. Can't you see how upset Marina's getting? Where's my money, lady? Give me my money! Uh-oh. It's Sweetheart and those sea witches. There's no way we're getting caught in the middle of this. Let's just make a run for it. Stop right where you are, children. I must correct you. As you are sorely mistaken, we are not witches, but followers of science. It's a common mistake, I'm afraid. Humans tend to fear what they cannot understand. Besides, I think I know why people think we're witches. Hey, what are you looking at me for? That aside, we have a bigger problem on our hands. That's right. Where do you think you're going, sweetheart darling? You owe us a big, big, big bag of clams. Hmph. <laughs> As if you three peasants are worthy of payment. All I wanted for you to make me... All I wanted was for you to make me a perfect match. But all you managed to fail me in three different ways. So if you're insistent to getting your worthless clams, let these children cover the charge. What? You little... Where do you think you're going? Humphrey, stop her now! Uh... Ooh, that didn't sound too good. 
Yoo-hoo! I'm here to report that Sweetheart has been disposed of. It's a good thing you asked. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to hold myself back any longer. Also, this may or may not surprise you, but Sweetheart has a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero! Not a single one! Which is quite unfortunate, as I'm getting a bit hungry. That wench double-crossed us! I knew there was something fishy about her. <laughs> well, not necessarily. She did say these children would cover the charges. Oh yeah, huh. In that case, she's definitely paid her due. Which parts of them should we sell off first? Don't be such a brute, Marina. I'm sure she meant the kids would pay us, not that we would sell them. Alright, darlings. Now be good and hand over your big bag of clams. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, about that. Just curious, how much does she owe you anyway? Well, let's see here. There's con consultation fee, initial fee, setup fee, inspe inspection fee, service fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping and handling, gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, and late damage. Wait, late payment fee. So that brings a total of charge to about... One million clams. One million clams?! We don't have that kind of money! Oh. Well, that's just too bad. Humphrey! St seal the exits! Oh no. Okay. Y'all wanna tussle with the muscle? Tough luck, kids. You walked into the wrong whale. Someone's gotta pay for all this. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Oh, this one's too pretty to sell, isn't he, Molly? Well, I like the quiet one. He'd make a great pet. Don't you touch him! Let us go now, we didn't do anything wrong! Ooh, feisty. I think you'd like this one, Marina. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess selling just one will do. Kel! No! Hey, l let me go! If you kids can't pay us in clams, you can pay us with your arms and legs. Kel! No! Let go of me! Put me down! Put me down! Oh. Ah, what the heck? He bit me! Okay, settle down, Marina. It's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this, brat! Well, now it seems like you've got Marina all worked up. Our little prey's biting back. Guys, it looks like we're gonna have to fight our way out of this place. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Yes, it seems like our pay prey needs to be dis disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children some proper manners. For prey, you're all way too picky. You don't want to be sold. You don't want to be pets. You should really learn your place. Well, whatever. That's fine with us. There's always another option. If you're gonna keep resisting, we'll leave you with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll just have to... Turn you into chum instead. Oh. I'm sure we'll be okay. Nice illustration, though. Sea wench. <laughs> Alright. We should be able to... Wow, they look absolutely insane. No problems for you, boy. Are they all one... Oh, cool. They're all one, uh... They're all one thing. Okay, so we're gonna hit them with the stair. Which should reduce all their stats, and we will get this bread immediately. Huh. You kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means. It's time to get serious. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Hey, Medusa. You think what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time we switch things up. Just relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Heart and juice were swapped? Oh my... Are you serious right now? You little bastards. Oh, wow. That really threw me for a little bit of a bamboozle. Whatever. We'll be okay. Hopefully. 
<laughs> uh, I would really like to say that. I sure hope it stays true. Okay, I think I have an idea. Oh man, they are destroying us right now. Holy heck. <laughs> man, we are not... Okay, okay, we still got this though. No problems here. Whew, you kids are a lot tougher than you look. Huh. This is much more trouble than it's worth. Ah, what a predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? Woo! See ya freaking later! Oh man, 9000 XP, 999 clams. 26, 25, 25. Nice. Slime time is over. Ha ha ha. Man, what's wrong with us? This fight should be a piece of cake. Forget hunting. I'm not cut out for this type of nonsense anymore. I'm just going to stick to research from now on. Well, dolls, it seems we are all past our prime. If only we were 200 years younger. Not to alarm y'all, but I'm afraid my appetite is getting... Oh, this is Humphrey. Much. 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 Bigger. Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Molly, feed Humphrey some clams. Hm, I'm sure I fed him last time. Besides, I used all my clams on software for the last job. I'm getting hungrier. Okay, fine then. How about you, Medusa? Well, I... I wasn't expecting to feed Humphrey again so soon. If memory, if memory serves me correctly, it's your turn to feed him, Marina. Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. I'm pretty sure it's Medusa's turn this time. Well, well, well. It seems you all have run into a little bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, I guess I'll just have to help myself. Oh no. No, my furniture! What are we gonna do now? Humphrey's gonna digest everything. Perhaps we should plan an escape? We've already expended too much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to swim at the fishes. Oh my. Yoo-hoo! That's terrifying. Ah! Oh my god! I mean, they kind of deserved it, but oh my god! Hmm, seafood. Delicious! Can we leave? Humphrey's out of control! How are we gonna get out of here? Keep calm, everyone. Let's look for an exit. Yeah, let's just look for an exit. No problem here. Uh, yeah, no problem. No problems here. Door's locked. Out of the way. The door's locked. Oh, I don't like all the Humphreys looking at me. Okay, I'm guessing all of them are locked. Let's just, uh... Oh, I don't like this. Boink. Out of the way, Humphrey. <laughs> nice try. Oh, wait. We are slowly being grabbed in. Oh, this is a bit of a problem. My friends, may I say, you all look delicious right now. Humphrey, stop this! Haven't you eaten enough? We promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be deceased. <laughs> okay, I'll give him credits for that. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? You should have thought of that well before you walked into my mouth. <laughs> Humphrey. It's no good, guys. I don't know if there's a way out of here. Don't say that, hero. Yeah, we can't end, let it end like this. <laughs> There's no need to struggle, children. Then again, it's always more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Now you all just sit still. The preparations have already been made. Dinner is being served, and you're on the menu. Ah, dang it. Oh, okay, we're all heated up. Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be deceased. Yeah, 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 we'll see about that, you freaking idiot. Time for you to die, is what, is what need to happen. The final fight has begun, but can you win if we work as one? Oh, boy. <laughs> the, oh. oh, you are very pleasant to look at, huh? Humphrey, Humphrey Grand. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, we'll just keep on hitting them with everything we've got. Just a warning, it's about to get smelly. It's time for you to all get in my belly. Oh, that's pretty disturbing. Oh my god. 
Uh, we're good. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> hey man. Oh, we lost all of our goodies as well. Oh, brother. Well, ain't this a little bit of a sticky, sticky, sticky little pickle, huh? I'm sure we'll be fine out of this one. It doesn't matter how quick or slow, the more you struggle, the deeper we'll go. Just relax, there's nothing to fear. Hey, Amori, is it getting stuffy in here? Cooking meat is very fun. Should you be rare, medium rare, medium, or well done? It's pointless to squirm. Give up, my friend. I'm afraid the cycle will never end. That's what you think, Humphrey. But little do you know is that, uh, that it ain't gonna work out like that. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Up. Oh. Ah, <sighs> it's no use. How are we gonna get out of here if Humphrey keeps swallowing us? Amori, I'm scared. How did we get ourselves into this mess? Don't worry, Aubrey, we'll get through this. We've gotten out of plenty sticky situations before. Yeah, we can't give up now. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh. Going somewhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, you can ne well, you'll never defeat me, loser. Oh, uh, we are not prepared for this. We are not prepared at all. Oh, man. We are totally unprepared. So what I would say if we didn't have this, uh... Uh... Man, I don't really want to use all these consumables. But I think I will have to. Huh, we won. 10,000... Wow, 10,000 experience, 2,000 clams, 26, 27, 26... Hey! Nice. That was easy. Oh my, that is so disturbing, dude. Holy heck. Oh wow, we're getting- How many mouths does this dude have? This is actually pretty morbid. Oh, we're out. In a lab? Uh, looks- he looks a lot more wholesome on the outside. Hey, well done. I think that's the last, uh key we need. Ugh. Well, that didn't go down smoothly at all. Hmm. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. See you later, man. Ugh, that was a close one. Yeah! Never under underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. But you know what? At least we got through it together. So, what do you guys want to do now? Hmm, I'm not sure. Were we looking for something? Wait, didn't Hero mention this before too? Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but... That situation seems to have resolved itself. Wow, they're all dead. <laughs> That's pretty depressing. No, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Come on, you should learn to relax and just enjoy yourself sometimes. I guess that's true. I'm a little tired of worrying so much. I think this is the last key we need, boys. I might just beat this game in this last episode here. Who knows? I really do like this game. I might just... It's like 10 o'clock right now, but I really wanna... I wanna do this, man. Zero keys left. Oh... Welcome to Black Space. Aw oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> we got it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. His uh, house changed quite a bit now, huh? 
I guess... We'll go say hi. Oh, man. The end draws near. I think we're gonna beat the game. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna beat the game. I... I this is only gonna be four episodes. But I am determined to beat this game. Let's do it, boys. This might be a six-hour to eight-hour episode. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. There he is. There's Basil. There's a hole here. Go into the hole? Yes. Hop in. This is gonna be the last one. And we are falling, like usual. Where will it lead us? Who knows? Oh. That, in that ended kind of abruptly. Oh. Hello? Stay away. You are not my son. Dad? Why? Why won't you fall? Why won't you fall? Why won't you fall? So, okay. The tr that's the treehouse that I went to, right? Well, this is... Okay. Okay, that was a little bit weird. We're gonna go, um... First of all, we're gonna save. How many hours have we played so far in this game? 18 freaking hours. Oh, man. We will continue, boys and girls. We're gonna beat this game, damn it. Okay, we got this. Let's head back to Basil's house. Alrighty, guys. We're coming near the end. Following Basil's ghost, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am totally prepared to end this journey. I... I have loved this game so far. And I don't know how much... Oh, they're all dead. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who, wants, who always sees the bright side of things. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called the gladiolus, also known as a sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much, in, much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could, could take care of a cactus, Kel. And these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. And if I could put it in another way, I guess I'd say that they're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect, just like lime. Just like lime, before it was just like a mori. Ooh, at least I think it was. I guess we'll continue on down. Hello. Basil, my brother. You are a brother to me, Basil. All the trees are slowly starting to be withered out and dying. Ooh. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out, like, if this is, like, something to do with Basil himself. Or if this is just all in my head. Buddy. Basil. Uh, Amori. I'm scared. Let's... Let's go back. We can't. We need to go in. We need to face... This... Thing. Alright. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes.
Let's do it, boys. Oh, oh man, this is exciting. Oh, this is pleasant. Is that a sand pit? Is this like a reverse version of our, like, of my dream world? Sorry. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited. Ah, oh, the stairs up into who knows what. I gotta say that is a really beautiful melody though. Hey, Mari. Oh, that is not Mari. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is the black space. Oh, man. That, that actually kind of got me. I thought it was going to be like a heartfelt moment. And then she just jumps out like, oh, my God. Okay. Okay. A black door casts a heavy shadow. Open the door. We got to do this, boys. I think I'm actually... Oh, my voice is under strain. I've been playing this game for so long, but I don't want to stop. It is so fun. I've been enjoying every minute of it. Welcome to Black Space. You haven't been living here for as long as you can remember. Oh, these are all keys. Very nice. Very nice. I'm happy I was able to get all of them without doing a lot of backtracking. Oh, what the hell is this place? This is definitely endgame. Mary's picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. Hey, you may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are still those who believe in you. Let's try this door. This is... I'm guessing we're going to be investigating all the different memories? Oh, what the hell... This is Yume Nikki. These rooms are full of broken things. But at least in here, I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one. Did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it became more powerful than you. Ooh, I don't like this a lot. That whale's dead. Oh, yeah. This is where... It, oh, wait, this is actually really tripping me out. I don't like the how the background moves without me. That is... Oh. Oh, man. This is actually... Okay. There's another hand here. Oh, we can actually run through these. What the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> oh, man. This is... Pretty wicked, man. We got a key. So, I guess that's nice and all. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get hit by one of the hands, I think. That's how we get back, right? Okay. We just gotta go through every single one of these doors and get a key. It's that simple. Nothing too bad here. We have the demons to help us out on that. What the... Hey, it's little me! You're far away from home. That I am. That I am. You are far away from home. Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to, for the both of us. I'm just trying to figure out what happened between me, Basil, and Mari. Because those seem to be the central characters of this. 
Seems like the hands are the only thing that's actually taking me out of here. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Oh. Oh. There's a lot cursed than usual. Oh my, look at that in the background. <laughs> oh, you even drew Mari's face. That's nice. Yes, let's save. Oh, this is so weird. There's no more light bulb either. Tissue box. At least we have the tissue box, right? Okay, let's open the next one. Oh, what the hell is that? Hey, man. Are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. That is indeed the way. What the hell, dude? Okay, we'll just follow the, uh... Hey, stick man. How you doing? Uh, just gotta find a red hand. You ring the bell, but it doesn't make a sound. Hey, man. Are you looking for someone or something? Yeah, I'm looking for the red hands. Ah, there they are. Okay. Next one. These aren't too bad. We're just going through, you know, the, the whole nine yards. Alright, we'll go check out this one now. Oh. This is, uh... Hey. Someone's dead in here. What the hell is going on right now? Here lies Mugiri. It's dark in here, but I kind of like it. Catchy, do not open until 20xx. Life Jam had no effect. Ah! I think these are the, uh... The people that, uh... Whatchamacallit. Maybe back to the game? That's what I'm guessing. What's what's up here? Just a tanging, disembodied corpse. Very nice. Okay, let's go try and find the, uh... Let's try and find the steps again. Ah, here they are. Hey. What are you? Absolutely nothing. Bathtub. Just disembodied heads. Uh, that's a dog. Ah, here's a key. That's all we needed. Okay, let's try and find the hands and get the heck out of here. What are you? I actually can't investigate you. Okay. Hey! Over here. Alright, we got a few more here. No problem. For your boy, Private Lime. YouTuber extraordinaire. Ha. <laughs> uh, let's see what this one has in store. Oh, this one's nice. Hey! Oh, okay. Let's not interact with them anymore. Liar. These scribbles are really, really good though, man. Oh, I hate those sounds. Hey, it's Mari! Hey, Mari. Liar, liar, liar. I guess we just continue forward. Liar, liar, liar. I am not a liar. I am anything but that. I am a mute extraordinaire. Uh, it's easy to mix up the two. Okay, he really... Or he or she calls me a liar quite a bit. Oh, it's you. Hey. Lime. I love you. Okay, so I'm guessing that's Mari. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you can follow me back. This is... <laughs> Lime. I love you. Thank you. Uh, we need to find one of those hands ASAP. Oh, man. Oh, I just looked at that back. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I stare too, you know? Oh, man. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what's in the background. Yeah, I know you love me. I'm a very lovable guy, what can I say? Uh, we are running out of doors to actually hit, so we're obviously getting somewhere by going into all these mystery, uh, areas. Hello? Oh! Hey! Meowo has been very, very bad. You got a key. M Meowo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. Do you want to cut open Meowo? No! There's no other escape. Is there? 
You want me to ki- Oh, no! Not the cat, please! Uh, I can't- Dude! Come on, man! Not the cat! I guess we gotta go through with it. She wants to go now. No. Please, can I stop? <laughs> I have to continue. She's struggling to break three. You wanna kill Meowbo? I really don't. Can I leave? I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just my dream. Her eyes are filled with desperation. Do you want to cut open Meowo? She tries to scream, but there's no sound. Do you want to cut open Meowo? I really don't. Aww. Also, nice reference with the scream, but there's no sound. But she does not know what is happening. Do you want to cut open Meowo? <sighs> yep, that, there goes Meowo. You cut open Meowo. Can you leave? Waiting for something to happen? Yes? Oh, please. Get me out of here. Oh, we could have just stabbed ourselves? Oh, no, dude. I killed Meow for no reason. Oh, please tell me you wouldn't be able to stab yourself before. I really hope that was it. That was the thing, because I feel really bad killing the cat. Might be a 2D sprite, but it's still a cat, you know. Next door. Hopefully you won't have to kill. Eh, hello. Oh, Basil's crown. You got a flower crown. Nice, what's in the melon? Oh wow, that was actually really quick to explode. Okay, nothing that I see as of right now. We'll just continue on ahead. Hey! You're looking really colorful, Basil. Amori, you came back for me! Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Basil. Whatever you say, man. Gotta smash all the melons, though. These mel- Growing watermelons has been really fun, but I miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? Uh, I tried my best, but they're all dead. They all died. There's no point in trying. Watermelons sure are delicious. We used to cut them and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? That it was, Basil. Come on. Oh, I can't stab myself. Just go off into the darkness. Oh, no hands this time. That's nice, I guess. Where the heck are we? Hey, buddy, you, you know where we are? Because I sure don't. I'm guessing we just smash the melons until we find something, right? <gasps> Ugh. Oh, we got the key. Sorry, Basil. Uh, I got places to be. Hey, man. Could you get me out of here? Just killed my best friend by smashing his head like a watermelon. Oh, we got a computer back. Nice. Nothing but static. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Sure. Anything different? Nope. Okay. So I definitely see the fact that Mari is the ghost, mostly because they, they were even conjoined in that uh, sketchbook. So that makes sense. Hey, this one has color at the very least. Oh, there's a Polaroid gone. Hey. Our friends who have suffered because of, because of us, can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does this part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Lime? I do not know, man. Can we go swimming? Oh, we can. Nice. Just head out a little bit. Head out a little ways. Oh, does it reverse? I think it does, actually. Okay. Oh, there's a key. Nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, dokie. Time to head off. Oh, another Polaroid. Doink that real quick. Don't know if these have anything to do, but uh, we, we're getting them. Hey, let me get this. Hey! 
Don't talk to me. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a door here. But we still have a lot of uh, doors to answer. I'm guessing... Oh, we can leave right now? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. What the hell is going on? Ah, hard frozen steak. Would you like to eat some? Sure. Delicious. We'll just continue up ahead. I, I, I really hope I didn't neglect those doors, because I'd be pretty sad if I did. Okay, we got another save point here. Would you like to save? Yes. Okay, I'm going to save on that one. Let's take the key, and let's head up. Hey, it's a church. I guess we're heading on in. Hello, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. I'm guessing Mari's gonna be up here. No, it's Basil. Looking like the Antichrist. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Muy bien. Hey, Basil. How you doing, buddy? I didn't look at all my memories, which might be a bit of a problem. Lime, the truth is here. You've been running from this far too long. But this time, we can face it together. Is that so? Oh, that's pleasant. I guess we're hopping on in. Lime, why did it end up like this? Lime. I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Do you want to save Basil? Oh, come on! We're besties! It's part of the bro code. Oh, we're actually going in. In deep. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Oh. The back door. Finally is unveiled. What lies in here? There's something out there. It's calling me, and it's calling you too. Let's go together. Okay, Basil. You and your demon eyes. Nope, oh, there he goes. Oh, man. Hey, soul. Buddy. Are you out here? Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, we'll just follow the blood trails and finger trail marks. Surely. And hey, what is this? Finger. Finger? Like, as in human? Finger? Finger. Okay, that's definitely human fing- Is that it? Hey, Basil, get out of there. Okay, we can't say hi to him. Hey! Buddy? I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait. What are you doing? Tell them to stop! Please tell them to stop! Help me! Is that a knife? Okay. I just stabbed Basil. <laughs> oh, that's pleasant. Oh my god! Just walked over his corpse like nothing. Damn, I'm pretty hardcore. <laughs> oh. Was I the one directing the hands the whole time? Am I the big... Oh, I don't like hands. This reminds me of the god hand <laughs> from Berserk. Is this my throne? Do I sit upon this for the rest of my life? Somehow I got the bad ending. Oh boy, this does not look good. This seems like bad end material. Hey there, you little sociopath. 
Or hey there, me, me little sociopath. <laughs> I guess we sit on the throne of lies. The Game of Thrones. I gotta say, that is very well done. I like that animation quite a bit. Is, uh... Oh, there's more. Not over yet. Oh! What is going on? Wait, where did, uh, Hero go? <sighs> okay. He's snoring. Let's go check the mirror real quick before we do anything else. Okay. Nothing has changed there, at the very least. Someone playing the piano? Hello? Mari! Oh, the curtains are off. Hey! You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? Oh, I'd lock myself away on the piano. All that practicing. Playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at that rest last recital. Did you want to play with it? Did you want to play with it with me now? Oh man, I butchered that completely. Uh. Whoa, you scared me there, Lime. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I always think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who always wanted, to, who would always want us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll join you up in a bit. Okay. Can I open the curtains? No. Oh, man. Oh, I can just completely ignore that. Can I go out in the backyard? I can. Oh, what the... Toys long forgotten, discolored by weather. There he is. Hey. Okay, we're not able to do anything about him just yet, but we, we are able to go into the backyard now. That's something new. Okay, hero. I'll go to sleep for you. Wait, was there always a left door? Hey. Oh man, the mirror always gets me. I don't know why I look at it when I know there's gonna be something behind there. Ah. Uh, there's nothing here. I doubt that. I doubt that a lot. Hey, Kel. He's still snoring away. Okay. Can we go outside? Hold on, give me a second. I don't want to go back to sleep if I can go back outside. Okay, I can't. I just wanted to make sure before I decided to do anything else. Okay, I can't press X either right now. I guess we'll just go back to sleep. That's fine by me. Good night. Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Back into the, uh, dream world. One day left. Oh, what the... We're still going, dude. <laughs> Man. Okay. I guess we'll just keep her going. Who, uh, who left a message? You have a new message. Hey, Lime, it's Mom. Tomorrow's the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Good morning, Lime. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do to -do list with all the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. I hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Hero, you're such a good dude. 
Come down and get it while it's still warm. Gail's already on his second plate. Okay. Yeah. Sounds nice. The door's gone. Huh. Can I go back outside? Nope. I wonder why it allowed me just to go back there for that day. Top of the morning, Lime. You better... Start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me? Thanks so much, bro. <laughs> hey, who's at the door? Who could that be? I'll get. I'll go get the door. Oh, he's going to get it. Alrighty, see you later, man. <sighs> it's you! You! What is all this? What the heck, Kel? Oh, he completely just spat it all over him. Oh, it's Kim. Huh? What's going on? Over What's going on over here? Dang it, Kel! Now I got eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Grumble, grumble. I was just about to get to that. It's, it's just, it's Aubrey. She's not answering your door, or her back door, or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this was your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basial into the lake. I told you. She's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's her last chance to do this before Lime leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try and talk to her. Well, me and Lime can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us to help. You're a good friend. Huh? Uh, sure, whatever. Grumble, 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 grumble. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Okay then, see ya. <laughs> Just has an egg over her eye. <laughs> Alright, let's go head over to um Audrey. Yo, Lime, thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Do you want a high five kill? Yeah. <laughs> really puts uh, everything he has into it. Okay. Down low. That's what I'm talking about. Let's save the game over. We'll do this one. Sure. Okay, let's get going. Oh, wow. The entire gang's out here. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her ass at all. Hello? Aubrey, is anyone home? Hello? Oh, looks like the door is open. Oh. Let's go inside. Okay. That's simple. Did I try the door? Oh. Crash is doing across the floor. Uh, I don't really like this place. Audrey. A mirror. We can't even look at our own reflection in here. Okay, we'll just head upstairs. A lot of... Hey. Hey, Aubrey, how are you feeling? What the heck are you guys doing in here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things. I just want to hear from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just... I had to push him away. 
He could have drowned! I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil, and everyone here, you are my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make it up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. They're... they're all I have left of her. But you know it's not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Lime has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw him away in the trash. Unless you and Lime... Haha, <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Hero took the photo album from you. Come on, guys. You should do this together. Oh, now we place down all the photos. This is one of the last ones, huh? Let's read it. Oh. Uh, can we not read it yet? Okay, we'll have to wait a little bit for it then. Oh, this is nice. I like this song a lot. Where does this one go now? I surely have missed it, right? There's no way I didn't. Hold on. Ah, right here. Cool. Okay, we'll place them all, then we'll go read them. Well, might as well. This is... Hey, this has to be near the end game, right? We are so close, and yet so far. There we go. Oh, that's, that's a nice picture of her. Okay. We should be able to get this done in a jiffy. There we go. That one goes there. This one goes right here. Cool. If we can get more like those, that'd be great. Uh, no, we got another stinker, it seems. Hold on. Was uh, that it? No. We just gotta continue down. There we go. We got the first page done. Second one coming in hot. Actually, now that I think of it, we've never seen Mari, uh, like, IRL. Not like, you know, like, we've only seen Dream World Mari, not Real World Mari, is what I'm talking about. So this should be pretty nice. Now, there we go. Cool beans. Now it's starting to be streamlined a little bit. See this? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Cards, that's probably down the road a little bit. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just guessing completely. Hey! Okay, that one went together pretty nice. Um, okay, we got another beach one, which I will uh, actually put right over real quick. Yeah. Um, actually, Picnic happened a lot. It happened beforehand, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm starting to get it. I don't know where this one to go, but I'm guessing it'd probably be... Um, I'm guessing it's... Near the end, maybe? There we go. A beach one is definitely going to be down the road a little bit, I feel. Or not. Oh, should be... Oh, right there. Cool. We had it right on. Grab the picnic. Picnic happened beforehand. Dishes. I'm guessing it happened a lot after. Come on. Where is it? Okay, there's one more there. Oh, this one actually happened way beforehand. There we go. 
There it is. That's the reason why we missed it, because it's right in the back there. And the last one. I saw an empty spot right here. Nice. You want to look through the photo album? Yes, I would like to look at all of them. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with the strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year's looking to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari brought me this photo album, and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Mari and Hiro fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> Hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad at me if she saw it. Hiro and Mari washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying over with Mari in line this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. All of us cuddling with the lime stuffed animal. Okay, we already read this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. Let's do it. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at her secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese! After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Um, thanks a lot to Hector. Oh, <laughs> I'll have to cover it up with tape later. Oh, that's a nice little uh, addition to it, I feel. Okay. Lyman Kel gave up on making flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe it's just a flower. Maybe just a flower is okay. Mari brought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Lime got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. Here we're sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. They look so happy, a match made in heaven. Mari says this beetle is a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Here was too grossed out to look. All of us hanging out in our brand new treehouse. Looks like Lime is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more again next summer. I'm playing cards with Kel here on Aubrey. They're, they're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were delicious chocolate chip and super delicious, like, as, like always. Nice. Looks like I have the winning hand, <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. Well, I'm giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Lime have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he, has, he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part for a big recital next month. We're all going to watch. It's going to be Mari and Lime's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. Well, we will all be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camera shy because she made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari. Just keep going. No one will even notice. After some begging, Lime came to join Mari for her recital practice. Haha. <laughs> they're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're gonna be great. Go Mari, go Lime, you can do it. And I think that's it. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yeah. There. Now everything's back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry to Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, Hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you need to apologize, apologize for to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get you out of this house. Hmm. <laughs> okay.
Nice, we got the whole group together. Hey, look at that. Ugh, home life is still a little bit iffy, though. Can't talk to the dad or mom. Aubrey's mom, actually, we can. Okay. Let's go ahead over to Basil's house. Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Yo, Aubrey, you feeling any better? We even saved the taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach... Oh, wait. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Ah, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to go show you some cool moves I came up with. I was practicing all night. Haha, <laughs> that sounds fun, but... Maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Ah, uh, okay. We'll see you later then. Don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Alrighty, let's head over to Basil's house. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Oh, we already made it. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, Polly, how's... Oh, wait. Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting his grandma. He was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We were all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out, hang out at our house for a little. And then later when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Lime? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah. You should decide how you want to spend your last day in Faraway Town. Lead the way, Lime. Oh, we're going? Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> this is where we go and just teach those second graders studying. Is that Meowo? Hold on. Huh. That was pretty cool. I guess we can go hang out in, uh... Kells and Hero's house real quick. Can we watch some TV? Uh, don't seem like it. Okay. I guess we'll, uh... Actually, I want to go check out the secret spot before we do anything else. I want to see if there's anything with that. Hey, here we are. Oh, it's previous images of me and Basil. That's nice. Look at this right here. Can we have a picnic? Oh, there we go. That's nice. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah, I guess we are. Huh, isn't that weird? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you too. That just means you two are really comfortable around each other. 
I'm a little jealous that you can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say I find it kind of annoying. Ugh, you're such an idiot. Well, that was nice. I enjoyed that quite a bit. A white egret origin. It's a language of flowers that symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Whoa, there's also, what is this up here? A conch shell. I want to check that out real quick before we head out. I wonder how, how in the heck that, uh, that fountain is there. You found a seashell. Nice. Hey, we can also play on the swings. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, Lime. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you caught me by surprise. So I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll ever really get over Mari's death. But it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale. And kind of thin, too. After you move, promise me to go outside to more often, okay? Sure. Sure, this is nice. Let's go uh, find other little areas to hang out on. Hey there. When Bebe told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far, he's a no-show, but Bebe told me we're looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. Ah, oh, he has bad taste in- <laughs> she has pretty bad taste in guys. I'm just gonna look after her when I go to college. <laughs> I told my big sister about my crush. She wanted to sh show him to her. So we're standing around where he usually hangs out with his friends. Nice. Gives a lot of talk, but she has a big heart. And me? I got some big muscles. Hey, well, looky here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey, Kim. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's gonna take us to a sick party tonight. Should be cool. Aw, oh, yeah, we're gonna party. Very nice. Okay, I guess we'll continue. Maybe we can go even stop at, uh... Whatchamacallit? Like, hobbies for a sec. Oh, we totally can! Well, might as well do everything with the friends. You wanna read comics with your friends? Yeah. Oh, we can even have pizza, too. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we're just chatting. We actually don't have a pizza. Oh, never mind. Yeah, bring in the za. Nice. This is some really wholesome stuff now. There we go. Delish. And he's just digging in. Hold on a second. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No, no, not this one. What? You're buying soda? But you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink Orange Joe? It's grossly sweet. It's made for babies. Oh yeah? Well, if it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? Damn, that's actually quite a bit. <laughs> Do your research, Aubrey. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. Probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? Ah, uh, I'll show you. Kel, wh what are you doing? Hey, this can's design was from like five years ago, and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend of Orange Joe. No matter what, I will still drink ya. Oh, he's going in. Mmm. <laughs> delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Uh, can we have a picnic with, uh, their family? Aw, oh, doggarn it. Kelly, the old man is such a fool. We had a beautiful picnic, but I forgot the most important ingredient. Meat. Could you spare some time and buy me some of the good old cheap stuff at the other mart? Here's some cash. Just talk to the meat man in the back, he'll hook you right up. Twenty buckaroonies? Whoa, mama. Hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while. We're having the best weather today. Okay, we'll go grab the meat. And, uh, I think after that, we'll, you know, take a look over at everything else, and we're gonna go head to the treehouse. Hello, yummy fish. 
Oh wait, we actually don't need one of these. But I actually will buy um a fish for a cat. I would like to give it to a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I have one job and it's to sell meat. Cool. We got some extra money from that too. Nice. I hope we meet again. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, there's actually something to do at the fountain. Would you like to throw a coin into the fountain? Sure. The coin fell straight to the bottom. Eh, little interactable stuff like that. Something you really gotta appreciate. Hey, we got the we got the meat. You gave the meat to Kel's dad. Thanks, champ. This is what I was just just what I was looking for. It'll be time to make some tasty hamburgers. Y'all should drop by later in the evening. You definitely want to try some of this deliciousness. But for now, go on and go on and enjoy yourselves. The weather's great today. Nice. I love some hamburgers and cheese. Okay, I think we're finally ready just to go to my treehouse in the back here. We actually have a really big, uh, we have a big backyard. Pretty jealous, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's go save over this one. Man. It looks like the sun is about to set. Did you want to go to see the treehouse now, Lime? Yeah, let's do it. Treehouse, baby! <laughs> Wow. I guess you guys really are moving away, huh, Lime? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, move away must have been a long time coming. Hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were able to become friends again. I'm happy that we all were here, so that we can face this together. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. Hey, Lime. When you move away, you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Lime! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh boy. We already stepped outside into the treehouse, actually. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. I sure hope we don't have to go for Basil, but Basil shouldn't be back for quite a while, right? Actually, maybe I should... Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I guess we have to go through with it. I really hope we didn't leave Basil behind. <laughs> oh yeah, I got chopped down, so that was actually a real... Uh, was it... Maybe it was my dad. This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. Oh. <laughs> I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah, you were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We are going to watch Mari and Lime's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came back home in the evening... Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's... let's keep going. Into the trees. Oh, this is nice. I really hope we didn't, uh, need, uh, Basil here too. Cause that would be... that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, wow. This place has really seen better days. Oh, but this is, um, this is where we leave through the white room. Wow, this place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. 
All of our own stuff is here too. Hey look, it's our playing cards. I was the best at playing card games, wasn't I guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. <laughs> look at all these old books. So this is where my cookbooks went. Ah, I think I stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? Toast. The photo of someone familiar. Aww. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a little bit ominous. Okay. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look, Lime found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Lime. You should add it in. Oh, the last one. Okay, we'll go do this real quick. Where is it? It'd probably be near the... Maybe start? Yeah, it's definitely near the start. It's probably the first picture, to be honest. No, no, it ain't the first. It's... whoop. Actually. Do we go over it, maybe? It's really hard to tell which one we haven't filled out yet. Ah, there it is. So we did go over it. Basil's Memories. Complete. There. Now the photo almost complete again. You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. Photo album's already out, so we might as well, right, Rhyme? Let's start from the beginning. Good idea, hero. The photo album's already out, so we might as well. Right, Lime? Let's start from the beginning. Oh, we already read it, so we'll just go through that. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yeah. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. We forgot Basil. Yeah, you're right. She would be... If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Yeah, what's going on here? Okay. I guess we're going. Well, oh. Man, this is actually... Oh. Oh. This world that I ran out to. Aww. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Lyman basically became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hiro always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing in the pain with their own way. After Lime stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. When we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He'd even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. I felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry that he was a nutcase. So, 
instead of trying to understand him. I stole his photo album and called him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey, and I'm sorry to you, Lime. I was a pretty crappy friend. We were still pretty young then, Kelp, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the, of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be there for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the per perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug! Aw oh, yeah, count me in. Wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. Oh, <laughs> just pushing me into it, okay. Aww. I like how it's animated too. It's very nice. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. Alrighty, let's go, boys. Oh, it's an old grandma crossing the street. That's not too safe. Oh, they're gone. Okay. That was a little weird. Let's talk to Basil. I was expecting some kind of really crazy final fight, but I'm, I'll be fine if this is the way it ends. I like happy stuff. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone. But, I don't know. I'm just worried. Did you guys try to talk to him? Of course! We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, so, buddy friend, how are you doing, man? Empty picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes, please. Thank you. Cool beans. It's nice to know that baseless friends who care so much about him. Okay. Just hop in. Oh. Hero's taking charge on this one. Hi, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Lime. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Just let us know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just wanted to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we made all the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, you think we could sleep here for the night? Oh, you are so kind. 
Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it'd mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Ah, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, Kel... Since Kel wants a couch, everyone can have a kilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. <laughs> Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! Okay, I guess we're just chilling on the kilts. Or the couch. You want to hang out with your friends. Yeah. Lime, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ah, so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always gonna be a big softy, just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's a softie now. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. It's like I know that Mari's still here with us too. Oh, you guys see the demons too? <laughs> you know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Lime. Be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I'm getting sleepy. What the? Is he asleep already? Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Lime. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time. But I really appreciate you doing this for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. Hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Lime. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Huh. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. You think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Lime. See y'all in the morning. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you forgive me? My best friend?
Wait, please. Oh, we're in our normal clothing. Also, was he the light bulb the entire time? <laughs> oh man, this is... I guess we're back in the white space, but this time we're not... Amori. We are me. I am Lime. Okay, this is all new. Oh, hey. Tissue box. Nothing but static. A sketchbook. Take a look inside. It's all empty. Hey, Amori. How are you, buddy? He's just doing his own thing. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Yes. Smash that bad boy. Smash it? Am I gonna hit it? Just like spike it like a volleyball? Oh! This falls down and... I feel like Amori is gonna go crazy. Yeah, he just snapped his neck. Okay. Okay, Amori. I think he might be the final boss. And I think we've been preparing just for this point. Hey, Mari ghost looking thing. How are you? Oh, yep, yep, yep. We have to fight as me now. What will Lime do? Skill. Okay, all we can do is calm down. But we have to attack it. Something drags Lime into the shadows. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, we still don't do anything. Okay, we can calm down. That's fine. Breathe in, breathe out. There's no way we can lose a final battle, right? There's no way. Oh, it's a stair demon. I know how to solve this. We just calm down, face our fears. We got this. No problem. Yep, and now we have the spider. Okay. Well, this makes sense. So all we have to do is calm down and then focus. Okay. I like this. Just slowly channeling your emotions and hopefully rising above the occasion. We're doing all right, though. Let's see, uh, the next one should be the tentacle demon monster, eldritch abomination looking thing. Ah, uh, yep. Here this, here's this one. Now we have to calm down and persist. Slowly, you know, tackling all of our fears all at once. Which is nice. Okay, now we can persist through and rise above the occasion. What will Lime do? Uh, calm down first of all. I don't even know what this one is. I think it's gonna be Mari. Something sways in the wind. Uh, oh, we might need to do all three of them now. But... I think that might be Mari. Hanging from a tree. We'll just persist. Focus, calm down. Yep. You feel like your life is in danger. Skill, just persist. Persist. <laughs> oh, that is actually terrifying. It's like the, one of the grudge girls. Like, with the white dress. Oh my gosh. Your lungs tighten up. Skill. Persist. We just have to persist. Whew. We'll be fine. We'll be alright. We can't run. We have to fight our demons. Your heart beats out of your chest. Persist. It's a upending battle here. But you gotta keep on chugging through. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Keep her calm, keep her cool. Hit me again. You hear your breathing begin to steady. There we go, now we just calm down. Okay, this is definitely a nice approach from the usual boss battle, I'd say. Usually you'd have to like, you know, fight everyone with all four of your people. You hear your heart begin to steady. Of course that might change any second, we are- we might not even be close to the end. I was not expecting the game to go this far, but here we are. <laughs> Still going on at it. Keep on persisting. You gather all of your courage and learn to overcome. There we go. Gather all of your courage. Overcome. Oh, that's little me. Look at me. There's a light bulb. You got a light bulb. Oh, ain't this nice? Okay, this is not bad. It's a 
photo. Tree. We die? Nah, surely not. Nice butterflies. What is this? Tree. Hey, Basil. How are you? Empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? Sure. We will, uh... We'll save right here. 20 hours in, man. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm... You're finally here. I've always dreamed that you'd come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it locked behind me. Door's locked. Okay. Basil looks petrified as he looks out the door. Oh. Oh, this took a nice dark turn. What the hell, dude? Okay. We'll go put together all the photos now. Okay. Uh, we're back to death zone. Uh, death zone is always nice. Wholesome to death is, uh, seem to, seems to be a recurring thing. My only daughter is gone, and you. You are my only son. I can't lose you as well. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. Oh, that's pretty creepy, dude. <laughs> okay. Um, another dingy photo. Oh! That's pleasant. Okay. Equip. Uh, we don't got anything. We got our hands. We don't got Knife Chan anymore. I miss Knife Chan. Okay. We'll go put it- We'll go put the photo in. I want to be, uh, staying on top of this. Just in case if we do need to, right? It'll be nice if we can. Okay. First one. Done. I feel like the last picture is gonna be of Mari. Oh. This is pleasant. Okay, that's me, I think, slumped over a bed. It's probably near the end. Oh, right here. Okay! This is pleasant. Go look around for any other pictures. I don't want to miss any right now. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is not looking good. This is probably future. Definitely future. Anything else? Any other pictures? Nope. These ones are gl glowing red. Hello? You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. You see five kids having a picnic. You see four kids riding an elevator. You see four kids talking to a whale. This person is breathing steadily. Breathing steadily. Okay, so this is just retelling every single one of our adventures in the dream world. Are we in a coma? Surely not. Nah, that'd be... That'd be too much. Breathing steadily. I'm guessing we need to check out every single one of these monitors. Riding a minecart. Playing in the forest. Talking to a giant statue. Rest in peace, Pluto. Orchids climbing a ladder to space. Riding an elevator. Talking to a whale. Yeah, screw Humphrey, man. Okay. Guess we're done here? No. It's locked. Okay, we have something else here now. Oh, we got a photo here. <sighs> yep. Okay, that'll do it. Uh, seems like future me. Yep, right there. Cool. Okay, now I- here's something going on down over here now. Can we leave? No, it's still locked. Okay, we'll just take it. oh wow, there's a lot less people here. And there's blood dripping from this one. This person is not breathing. Oh. Are we outside? Oh, we're down here now. And the eternal stairs are back. Oh, how much I missed you. With the demon at the bottom as well. Is that hair? Were the hands hair the entire time? Oh. There's a photo here. 
locked. Oh. Half of my face is, like, bleeding right now. Okay. Okay, that's pretty disturbing. Oh man, I don't like these pictures at all. They're not nice pictures. I, I miss my nice pictures. Okay, continue to head down, I guess. How are you looking? You're looking alright with our sprite. Uh, me heading down the stairs. Ah, uh, we'll go equip that real quick. We're almost there. We are almost there. This might be... Whew. Quite a bit here. Okay, there we go. Next photo done. We're probably gonna get a nice stream of them here, huh? Dead at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. This person is not breathing. Okay. Well, we'll just go put this in our photo album. Ah, the memories. Uh, okay, this is probably going to be one of the last ones. Yeah. Hey. Basil, Lime, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Mari's calendar, today is the day of the recital. Hello? Oh, man. Hey there, demon. Oh, wait, this is, um... There's something is preventing you from getting closer. Do I... Oh, I gotta grab the pictures. Okay. Okay, there goes my finger. Yep, yep, this is fine. Looking at... Okay, so obviously Basil did something. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. What happened? I am... Okay, is this the last picture? It's hugging the body. Uh, we still got our thumb. That's all we need right now, right? We're still looking okay. Okay, I think we got everything. Let me go put these into the album. Photo album. Basil's most precious belonging. Right here. There goes death picture number one. Death picture number two. Uh, death picture number three. Death picture number four. They all went in a row. There still might be one or two left, but I don't see them. Oh, there's one on the stage. Okay. This one is actually broken violin. Okay, let's go equip the broken violin before we go any further now. We are getting pretty miffed right now. Oh, wow. It really changed. Did I push her off? No. Maybe it was just an argument, maybe. It's definitely an argument. Okay, this is pleasant. Another photo here. Hugged? Or she went after... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't really like this. Wait, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me put the photos together before you do anything else, man. Just give me a sec. Okay, we, oh no, we can. Thank you. That photo, that photo. So there's obviously an argument. Violin fell, so did Mari. Maybe I accidentally pushed her off and I killed her and that's why Amori feels so much guilt. That could be it. Do you want to screw it in the light bulb? Yes. Okay, we screwed it in, and wow, that is really messed up. Do you want to pick up the photo? I definitely pushed her off. Okay, that makes sense. So, oh my. That's me. Howdy, y'all. It's Amori. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing the, uh, the story from this that I'm getting right now is that I pushed her off, I accidentally killed her, and Basil maybe hung up her corpse to make it look like it was a suicide, which is really freaking morbid to say. 
But I think that was it. I have nothing else. I put it all together. I, I'm one step ahead of you. Gate. Oh, another photo. There's a jump rope here. I definitely think that's the... That is definitely it, I feel. Though I could be wrong. I'm not really the best when it comes to speculation. No, I definitely think it is. Oh no, that's terrible, dude. Okay, so the gate prompts me to put in the picture anyways. So we'll just have to keep on going. We're looking pretty messed up right now, all things considered. Yep, tying the rope. Ah, uh, that's really fucked up, dude. Okay. Keep on going ahead. I mean, Basil is a really tr best, true best friend, though. He did that much. For me, I guess. Even though it was all an accident, it, it could be... It'd be a really messed up accident, and I don't think I don't think anyone would be the same afterward. Yep. Yep, that's it. It all makes sense now. Ugh. That is... Ooh. I already put it together. Just a few more photos and we'll make it to the end. Oh man. It's a long walk. Up to the treehouse. Yep. That'll do it. I forgot the key was in the toy box the entire time. That is super morbid that- like, I, are these pictures that he actually took, or are these just memories? Holy fuck. Okay, just keep on going. You know, I think suicide would have been a little less dark than an accidental homicide and then framing the homicide as a suicide with a rope. I don't know. We'll just keep on ending up, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, man. Up, oh, the end of the trails here. And that's the treehouse. And that makes sense why the ghost looked like Mari. It just looked like it because from the reverse image. Last photo. Oh, it's going through all of them. Okay, so we pushed her off after she got a hold of us. <clears throat> she died. We checked down. She's super dead. Oh, man, that's depressing. So, it seems like it's either Basil helped us like, set everything up, which is... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that eye. It makes sense now why that eye was so prominent. Okay. Okay. I like this. Oh, we can leave now. I would like to save. It's in the toy chest. Right? Door's locked. Hey, Basil. You want to save Basil? Yes. So, that's why Basil was in the dream world, too. It's because he was an accomplice and he was just as, you know, I guess guilt-ridden? Hey, buddy. You're a real best friend, you know that? Hey, man. How you doing, Basil? Hey, buddy. Ah, Lime. It's just you. I'm glad you came. It's... It's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari... When Mari fell, you... You couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Lime. I know you're a good person. 
A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Lime. That's so mean. Ah. Uh, something all around us now. You see it, Lime. There's no way out of this, is there? Oh. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You, you can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Lime. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from me, Lime. I'll protect you no matter what, Lime. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all of my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Lime. Lime, I wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Lime. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Oh, Lime. Don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything... Oh my... Is going to be okay. What the hell, dude? Okay. We just gotta calm down for a second. Holy hell. Okay. This is, uh, you try to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. His eyes are red from crying. You want to run. Skill. Persist. I don't like that heartbeat monitor. I really don't. You try to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. I take three damage. You want to run. We can't run. We definitely won't attack Basil. I feel like if we attacked him, uh, we'd probably kill him. Lime. There's no way out of this, is there? Oh man, all the demons are coming up after this one. You try to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. You want to run. No, we, we just gotta... Oh... I don't want to attack... Oh no, dude. Dude. Give me my skills, I need my skills. Oh, please. Oh no. Tell me, Lime. Am I selfish for doing this? You want to run. Lime. Do you hate me? I don't know what to do. Oh, man. You want to run. Please, give me the skills back. Please, stop it. You want to run. I, I feel like, stop struggling, Lime. What? I'm so tired. Okay, I think we'll be okay. You want to run. Going to be okay. Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. Stressed out. Oh my, what is happening here? Lime attack. Okay. 
Oh, do we keep on fighting? I don't know what to do right now. Oh, jeez. I really don't want to... Oh, oh, no, dude. Maybe we'll both kill each other somehow. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, I, I can't run. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Please don't die. Why? Why won't you stop? Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, what the hell is going I feel like if I ran, it would have been... Oh, no. Man, this has been one hell of a trip. What the actual hell? Okay. Well, I can walk in the road now. No care in the world. What is going on? Oh, that's nice. Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost, but it's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. Okay, I guess we're going home. Hey, it's a cat. Hey, buddy. Ay ay ay. Hey, look at that little guy skip away. I guess we'll just keep on following this direction. Home. Home is where the heart is. No, that's Kel's home. This is my home. Ay ay ay. Hey, Basil. Hi, Lime. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try and bottle it up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But... That's up to you. Aubrey, Gill, and here are all good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but... The photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close, and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burning you again. The path to your future will be open soon, but only you can you only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Aww, Maisley, you're too good of a friend, man. Lime, let's make some new memories together, okay? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. We always had a large backyard. So it's nice to finally make use of it now that there's a treehouse. The treehouse is further back, but I can still see my favorite tree.
Hey, Mari. Lime. It's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes. But you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Lime. You worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Hey, cat. Good kitty. This one always seems to be running ahead. Oh, man. Oh, there's a door. I'm guessing the closet door is what had the, uh... Is what had the toy box with all the photos in it of my... Of our, uh... Whole setup. Yep. Do you want to unlock the toy box? Yes. Oh, it's not the pictures, it's my violin. Okay. That makes sense. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Oh, okay. I thought it was actually a note. Got a little bit darker here. Grand piano. The word of Mori stretched across the center. I'm guessing it wants us to go in the backyard now. Hey. The photo looks better now. That's nice. I want to go check in the mirror one last time, though. See if anything's changed. Just me. No demons here. Okay. Let's go ahead to the backyard, hopefully. No, I actually can't investigate it. I guess we'll just take a look around. Mari's bed. And mine too when I had nightmares. Very com very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched to me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Baskets full of baby toys. I haven't gotten around to throwing them away yet. Baskets full of baby toys. Okay. I don't know where it wants to take me right now. Maybe- oh, pocket. Important. Cheap music. So maybe we use it at the, uh, the room. Maybe we can play one last song with Mari. That's my guess. Sheet music. No. Okay. We'll take a look around. A refrigerator. Open it. Leftovers again. Okay. Ah, oh, some fruits. That's nice and all. Uh, can we go outside? Ah, we had to go outside, okay. That makes sense. Ooh, this is a little bit spooky. Okay. I guess we'll go down the road. I'll go on the sidewalk. I feel a little bit safer on the sidewalk. They said we have less chance of getting hit by a car, right? Oh, I thought that was a... Headlight. <laughs> I thought we had to dodge cars for some inexplicable reason. Hey, everyone's here. Yes, I just got what I needed. 
Now, oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, what did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyways? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, we can move around. You look at Cal's hand, it's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Lime, it's... it's too horrible. Ah, uh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? An old toaster. It does not make toast. Calendar. Summer vacation is almost over. Stuffed toy of a pink... Uh, of a girl with pink hair. An old TV. Cal brought it up here, but was pretty bummed out when he found out he couldn't use it. A bunch of toys scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. Aubrey's stuffed toy, Mr. Plant Egg. A bunch of toys are scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. You look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? Hero's cookbooks. Mari brought them for his birthday. Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Lime? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies? Mari's cookies have so much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Look at Hero's hand. It's a king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Lime? You look at Aubrey's hand. Two, a five, and a ten. Hmm? What do you think, Lime? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Hell, shoes that he forgot to take home last week. A bunch of toys scattered across the floor. The possibilities are endless. You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Are you sure you want to go? Ah, uh, not yet. No, actually, there's nothing else for me here. Yeah, let's go. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookie cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Okay, I get it now. We have to go through memories. Here's the second one. And there! The watermelon's all cut up! Come on, everyone, take a slice! Hey, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Aw, oh, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice juicy melon like a hot on a hot summer day. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating basil. I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, basil. My plastic bag, it's functional. <laughs> Basil's tote bag, it's a little small, but he likes it. Oh, this is nice. An ordinary sandcastle. Hey, Lime, did you want to see the photo of Aubrey? That's where it came from. Aubrey's so cute, isn't she? <laughs> Ew, gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. Haha, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this, then? Ew, stop it, Aubrey. You're gonna give me cooties. Let them play, Hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to add bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, Hero? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Ew, gross, stop spitting seeds on me. Oh, it's the same thing, okay. I, I thought it would be a different reaction for each of them. 
Okay, we'll go through this quick. We'll head over towards the picnic basket. Hero's beach bag. It matches with Mari's. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. Oh man, we're almost on 24 hours. <laughs> I guess we're going to the next memory. I don't think there's much left here. See you later, team. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. You remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, hero. Aw, oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world famous chef and you're gonna cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait. I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah. I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector! How could you? Oh, this is nice. Hey, Lime. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mario always says I'm really good. But my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Heck yeah, dude. Haha, <laughs> maybe. We're still young, we should dream big, right? Hmm, but yeah. My mom's going to have something to say about that. Oh hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, Lime. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Aww. This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Oh, his poop, not uh... I thought he bit it. Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. A half-eaten watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomach. Mari's cookies. Aww. I had to take a little bite here. On to the next memory. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you know that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. Hey, Lime, hey, Basil, what took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing the new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Lime? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew, pink is such a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Lime, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing her hair together. Mari says she's gonna dye her hair purple. But purple? You wanna know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you wanna dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever want that? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute. Mari thinks so too. Huh, I'll never understand you doing your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Lime? Yeah! Lime says that he thinks pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Lime agree. You're the one who's weird, gal. Psh, whatever. Hey, that settles it. One day I'm gonna dye my hair pink. But, maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kinda strict about these things. What is it, Lime? Did you wanna see the photo? Aww. 
I always ask you to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Said you and Basil were playing that new Pet Rocks game. Huh. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check to see if they got any new stuff? Ah. Uh. Oh, you're going on a headline? Don't worry about us, we'll catch up in a minute. See you later. Oh, this is so nice. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. A violin mended a part of itself. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Lime? Lime is a bit camera shy. We all have those, those, those days, don't we? It's okay, Lime. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil, what are you gonna make? What wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Hmm. A wish? Ah. What would I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, maybe? Mari? Sure thing. Um, <clears throat> And a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy dur- bur Oh man, I can't talk man, I've been really stuttering a lot recently. Happy birthday dear Basil, happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow out your candles Basil, make a wish. You remembered. Basil smiled as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered. As Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended a part of itself. Wow! A new basketball? Thanks, bro! No problem, Kel. You can thank me anytime by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Lime, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present. From all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. There was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Lime. This is from all of us to you. Ta-da! It's your very own violin! We hope you like it, Lime. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body readied the violin to play.
you remembered. The anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note of, on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Got a door here. Time! You're finally here! After this point, it's gonna be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we became friends, I always assumed you were gonna leave me eventually. But, when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You'd listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could rely on you to do that. I know we missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be there if you're okay with that. Lime, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you. But you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because he done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next, whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And I really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Lime. Break a leg for me, alright? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Slime. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That okay with you, right? Mari's picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. We believe in you, Slime. An empty music stand. You want to place down your sheet music? Yes. You place the sheet music onto the music stand. The stage is ready for you. You want to play the violin? Sure.
Seems like we're back in the white space. Ah, this is the final battle. Alrighty, let's do this. Your juice will not fall for three turns. Heal your wounds and come back stronger. Let's do this. Oh, man. Whew. This is a lot, dude. Okay. We got this. You remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Amori did not succumb. Okay, we gotta go all out then, it seems. We can keep on hitting with the Allegro. I probably butchered that, but honestly, at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> you've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And you've earned nothing in return. Okay, we're gonna go hit Cherish, because I don't want to go too below. I don't know if we could lose this, but that'd be a really bad way to go out. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace, or you know, some happiness. Okay, boys, we got this. We're going all in. There's no way we can lose now. Oh no, we just used oh, we just used Encore like that. Okay, we'll be all right. Hopefully, <laughs> your friends will never forgive you. They'll bend you like you did them, and that's what you deserve. Or Mori did not succumb. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Uh, I think we just gotta keep on hitting Encore. We might have just screwed the pooch on this one, to be honest. But, uh, we'll just try our best to... I, I am doing... I'm, you tell yourself that you don't want to burden others. But the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. We'll be alright. Oh, we can still use Allegro somehow. It costs zero, actually, now. I guess 19 is a lie. Huh. Okay, that's nice. Just steady your breathing. You remembered Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Ah, there we go. When do you think about others? How long do you think you're going to let people take care of you? You say you take care. You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. We'll see about that, alter ego me. We will see about that. People like you don't deserve to live. Oh, man, hitting them hard. Okay, Amori. Good night, buddy. I only took four damage. People like you don't deserve to live. Amori did not succumb. Oh, he's getting even more cursed over time. Okay. We'll hit Encore first and then we'll Cherish. We should be able to survive half of our health being taken away. Oh, man. I just realized how screwed the background is. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Lime studies his breathing. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You're nothing but a liar, and when you see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Oh, man. Okay, this should be the last encore. This guy hits hard, man. <sighs> if they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it'll be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It'd be better if you just die. Okay, I think we... We just go all in with the Allegro. Yeah. I think the Allegro's the best... Oh man, that hurts. Strikes three more times. Come on. Is that it? It would be better if you just die. Amori will not succumb. Oh man, he is persistent. Okay, we'll hit Cherish first. Oh man, you remembered Mari's request. 
You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Lime? You killed Mari. She loved you and you killed her. Just calm down, buddy. Hero loved her and you killed her. Aubrey loved her and you killed her. Kel loved her and you killed her. Now it's time I kill you, buddy. Haha, <laughs> the Durns have tabled, hopefully. It'd be really embarrassing if I died here. Pesel loved her and you killed her. You loved her and you killed her. Amori will not succumb. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think we can hit him with one more. Nah, we, we, we gotta get Cherish going. Oh, man. You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Lime? You should just die. Amori erases the enemy. Oh man, that, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Just calm down, buddy. Oh man, that the, the image of uh, Amori is really getting disturbed, huh? Amori erases the enemy. You should just die. Hey, we're back in it. What will I do? Play. Play the song of my people. That was the first time I lost, technically, and got a game over. Other than if you count the uh, experiment that absolutely thrashed me.
Alrighty, so it seems like the fight might have not been the best call for me. Um, yeah, this, this has been a really good game. Doors locked. Door is locked. I don't want to see what Aubrey is up to. I feel like that'll be a little bit more important than imaginary friends. I have to tell you something. That was a really good game. I liked it a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna let the credits play. You guys liked the series? Like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I know it's a lot more different than I'd, some I'd usually do, but I'm glad I covered it. I, I'm really glad I covered it. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.